waffles. What is Delta Green? <sighs> All right. For those that don't know, Delta Green is a covert government agency that, due to the severity of what they deal with, the Call of Cthulhu, uh, Eldritch Horror scene, are not always able or even allowed to play by the rules. That is to say, the unnatural don't allow them to play by the rules. So during Reflections, our Delta Green show, there will likely be many dark, uncomfortable, psychological moments. For the consideration of y'all, trigger warnings are incorporated. If any reason is needed to step away, please do so. A couple of small changes we're making for uh, what we care about and the use of terms. Instead of using sanity, you will hear the word psyche. And instead of using the word insanity like or going insane, you will hear the words mental break. Ah, uh, that's, that's it. That's what I got. So we can probably get to the intro video. Uh. Well, if that's the case, y'all, we'll see you in just a little bit and get this show started. Welcome to Reflections, our show. The, se the scenario is going to be music from a darkened room, and I am going to read a little thing, set the tone here. Places, like people, sometimes go wrong. They turn off the path and head into the shadows, becoming something other than normal. Black places filled with blank rooms closed doors and empty hallways lined with dust. In these places, your voice catches in your throat, the air seems to hum, and bad things happen. People get hurt, objects vanish, bad feelings flow like the loose tap in a bathroom, and hate hangs in the air like the smell of old paint. It feels of time and circumstance, and something just a little beyond this world. It feels like surrender. Welcome to Music from a Darkened Room. Uh -huh. <laughs> the camera zooms in on an aerial shot of a small suburban town. Zooming into the state of Wyoming. Out of the way, we see the camera float through fall trees, orange leaves, rustling animals in sparse woods. And finally, that small suburban town of Lander, Wyoming. The camera continues through the town, showing rustic houses, very few main attractions other than a town doctor or a record keeper, a couple of fast food restaurants, and an old, run-down but still operating gas station. Finally, we find ourselves on the outskirts in a nondescript room of a Motel 6, with four agents standing around a FedEx package. First, we see the agent that we will know as Noreen. But as the camera falls on Noreen's face, we find ourselves somewhere else in Denver, Colorado. On a small corner of a suburban part of Denver, we see a sign. The Helping Hand, with small letters under that say, Psychiatry. Inside, we hear murmured voices. Through the door, 
we see Noreen sitting across from a middle-aged white male, graying hair, balding on top, who seems to be having a rough emotional time. But how do I get her back? We hear, not knowing any more of the context of the scene. I think you're a little quiet. Uh, it's a little hard to hear you, Fair. Sorry. Oh, sorry. Um, I think we're past that now. now I think I think your mic is off kilter or something. Um, it's not that mic anymore. It's something else. The, the Discord. <laughs> Te technical difficulties. We'll be right back. It would not be a session one without it's always technical difficulties. Be a session one technical difficulties. So this is great. Get it out of the way now. <laughs> this gives me time for music. That's cool. Maybe check if Zoom is taking up your mic and it's being a punk, and then it's not going to <laughs> Discord or something like it that. Is going to, it is going to Discord. Okay. Did it? Did the dial turn down or something? You're just very quiet. Is it like the like gain or something? Well, you thumped that. Oh mic? yeah, it got it got turned down. Oh, yeah, there we let's go. go. Hey. Oh, there we go. Okay. <laughs> hey, we're we, back. We're back. We're we did back. it. Welcome back. You have to figure it out. Um. Uh, so he said, "How do I get her back?" Correct. Yes. I. Frank, I don't think that's the question we need to be asking right now. She's made her choice, and I think the best course of action for you is to find a way to heal and move on from this. But you're my therapist. You're supposed to be helping me. Helping isn't always telling you what you want to hear. He lets out like a long sigh. You see him, like, judging things in his eyes, trying to trying to play it through his mind. What's your human int score? Or psychotherapy, if it's higher. Um, I think they might be the same. Let me double check. Human int is 60, and psych psychotherapy, I think, got uh, Damn. messed up when it got moved over. Because it definitely had a score there. Okay. It was like 80. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, so psychotherapy is higher. Do you uh, want me to roll? Or no, no, no. Uh, okay. Something with Delta Green. Usually, if your score is like sixty or eighty, and it's not a like moment of crisis or anything, like an, in a battle, you you are very good at the thing. If it's eighty, you're like one of the best in the world. Therefore, you know. Uh, especially with Frank being a returning customer, you know him as he's playing in his head. And then you hear the words, okay, then how do I heal? You know, like he lets off like a shrug and says it as in he knows that's the next step to trying to get her back. First of all, you need to accept that you're, you need to understand that you should be healing for yourself and not in order to win somebody over. He goes to open his mouth and you hear, as your phone lights up beside you. An email appears on Noreen's phone. She glances down to check it, sees the words, urgent, Iago Green, your bank account has been suspended. As if this message is coming to Iago Green. Mm -hmm. To anyone else, this looks like a blatant scam, but to Noreen, she knows she's being contacted once again by Delta Green. We watch as Noreen rushes the man out of her office mid-session and once the door is closed, clicks the email. A series of numbers and letters pops up on her phone. 3245A113904M6666. One, one, three, 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 three. You don't need that for notes. I tried so hard though. <laughs> <laughs> Give, I, giving you know, her... If you want it, I have it because... Uh, wow. Did to me. wow. Oh, okay. fair, well. fair, fair, fair. <laughs> <laughs> Giving her all the knowledge of where she needs to go, where her plane ticket would be, and the knowledge that there are three other agents that would be meeting her at a Motel 6 in Lander, Wyoming, under room key 333. 
panning around to the three under agents in that room, we find ourselves landing on Amber. In a different scene, in a different place, we see St. Louis, Missouri, zoom into focus. In a discreet corner of a middle of nowhere street, we see a building that resembles something between a rundown ghost town building and a lit up back alley bar. On the window, we see painted tech from the inside. We zoom inside to see the inners of the building, which are remarkably better and more well kept than the outside. The camera zooms down on a figure in a rolled up dress shirt and suspenders, leaning over papers seeming in the middle of some sort of audit. From behind the counter, we see an older androgynous looking individual that calls. When you think you done? Um, probably a couple of hours, maybe two. Two sounds good. Two hours. All right, we we'll lock up two hours. Sounds good. Sounds good. Very normal exchange between you and your your assistant, kind of trying to keep keep the shop running as it needs to run and letting you do your thing at the same time, knowing that you're really the one that runs most of it. Eventually, the bell rings as someone walks in the door. An older white male, short, pudgy, dressed in a clean suit and new... Yeah. Nice, nice. Dressed in a clean suit and a newsboy cap over his eyes walks in. We see the figure at the counter straighten up. Oh, hi, Donny. We wasn't expect... You see the figure... Now we know it's Donnie. Hold his hand up. Here for Amber. Oh, well, he's got a little more. Donnie gives them a very stern look that shuts him up quickly. Okay, fine. Take him. Donnie walks over to Amber and just kind of stands there a second, looking down at Amber in the papers. Oh, hey. Um, I pull out my I pull out my phone. It's like yeah. Wait, you didn't send me a text message, and I forgot. Did you? He gives a a slightly parsed look of his lips, and it's like no, this one, this one, it's a good one for you, and it came up a little quick. Wait, are we taking a field trip? He gets a very silent nod, and yeah, I, I know you've been wanting to get out, and uh, this this is it. Cool. It's a good thing I went to bed early yesterday. I got extra sleep. Um, wait, I need to go get a weekend back. I'm not gonna have time to run today. And whatever is fine. I just start putting like, like furiously putting things away. I like, like write like a quick email and then like schedule to send when I'm not here and like shut down the whole computer. Like put like the parts that are relevant in a drawer. Heck yeah. Um, where are we going? <laughs> Almost this roll of his eyes because he knows how it sounds. Uh, but you can still tell that he's being serious. Wyoming. It's like a four or five hour drive and we'll be good. Me going through the Rolodex of things that I know to be fun in Wyoming and finding absolutely nothing fun in Wyoming. Sorry Yo. to any of the Wyoming people listening to this. <laughs> <laughs> if we're wrong, email in. <laughs> Uh, yeah, but eventually y'all kind of conglomerate together. We see Donnie and Amber in a car. It seems like some time has passed. Six, seven, eight hours, maybe. Okay, Here's so red... are you driving or am I driving? Donnie's driving. Unless you request to, and then he might let you. I'm just going to let him drive until he's tired, although knowing him, he probably won't be. Okay. 
yeah he i mean he will continue to drive unless you're you're asking to drive basically so i will ask uh, him at least five questions on this trip <laughs> we just see silent from the outside of the car but we continue to see amber's mouth move wait, wait. donnie's like kind of cutting his eyes back like please stop and then donnie answers and then amber clearly asks another question what we do here is kind of this muffled sound of Elvis Presley blue suede shoes playing. Finally, they pull up to Wyoming. So, uh, we're going to say it was pretty early in the morning. So now it's like afternoonish, like three, three in the afternoon. He looks at you. You're outside of a Motel 6. He looks at you. You understand? Room 333. Don't act alone. Okay. Stay safe. And Amber. He like stares you down for a minute. Mm hmm The less you know, the longer you live. You know, it always does make me just a little bit nervous when you say that. But I'm sure it has a good reason. Another parsed lip nod. It does. Okay, so stay safe. No questions. Yeah. And then I had then I head off to the room. All right. Continuing panning around these four agents. We land on Yin. I want to just mention to you that we forgot to talk about the Owlburn Nuggets. I don't want to interrupt this, but if you have a good time to talk about that, feel free. Oh yeah, that's true. Okay. Uh, live stream version. We, we use Owlburn Nuggets. What these Nuggets are is usually they were hero points in Pathfinder. This is the Delta Green system. What I have decided to do, you can't hold more than one. Uh, you can give one to me as well, the GM, but I also won't hold more than one. There is a luck roll in Delta Green. It is 50-50. Anyone with an Albert Nugget can spend it, and they get plus 10% on their luck roll. Or, I don't want to get into the mechanics. You get a 10% better chance. Technically, it'd be a minus 10, but I don't want to go and explain that. And then <laughs> mine will work the opposite. I'll spend it on one of your luck rolls and make it worse. Amazing. Ooh. And Ooh. Yeah, this is Nugget, our resident mascot. He's an owl. Oh, no. <laughs> <sighs> Sorry, I ruined the entire cute no. vibes no, of no, Delta no, no, no. Green. <laughs> they have the okay. cute the vibes. Cute vibes. The super <laughs> adorable <laughs> homey vibes we've been having so far. <laughs> All the super cute vibes. Spoilers, I'm loving this so much. Okay, continue. <laughs> It's not spoilers, it's obvious. It's, let's go. And now we find ourselves in the small town of Bemidji, Minnesota. A small two-story house, single family home. It looks like it could use a little upkeep, but it's also not falling apart. It comes into the camera view. Sitting outside, we hear the words. Cam Fallon, I'm off to class. And watches a figure walks out the door, the front door, with a backpack on. Uh, we watch as they hop into a 1994 Honda Civic, start the car, music blasting, and take off. The camera follows the car, showing a license plate that's one month expired. Yin seems to bounce left and right slowly to the music, enjoying it, as we watch them drive right by a college. Time passes, we see another college pass. We get the idea that's clearly not where they're going. We zoom in on their face, and in the back seat see a turret deck, a couple of half-burned candles, a very old newspaper, and some sort of crystal rock kind of thing. Then their phone rings. They answer, only to hear a recording that doesn't fully seem like a telemarketer. 
Yen Moreno. Indigo. Alpha. Al Alpha? Indigo. Alpha. Golf. Oscar. Golf. Romeo. Echo. Echo. November. Echo. We watch as Yin listens, their face shifting expression, and makes a very quick, slightly reckless U-turn, with the sign on the side of the road showing Bemidji Regional Airport, 5.8 miles. And then we go to Maya. The camera zooms up the... Whoops. The camera zooms up the East Coast, settling over the state of New Jersey before heading down towards the center of the state on the western side. We settle above a large corporate building as the words, Central Regional Lab, New Jersey Forensic Technology Center, write themselves across the screen. Noticing that it's very late, like 10 p.m., we see the lights on inside one of the rooms. The screen flashes and we find ourselves inside what looks like a high-tech room with many machines spread out all over. But we focus on the DNA sequencer with a figure standing before it. We see them with headphones on, head bobbing, dancing a little, mouth smacking away at what looks to be chewing gum. It seems like some minutes pass until we see an older woman, blonde and silver gray hair with bangs, pulled into a neat bun. Slightly aged face that seems to hold a fairly attractive structure through, through her age, and piercing blue eyes. She seems to be dressed to the tees in a professional blouse and skirt. Maya, I'm leaving for the night. You'll get the body that's coming in later? Nah, Evelyn, I thought I'd just uh, leave it out on the sidewalk, see if anyone was in the market for a free corpse. Maya. You know you're not supposed to chew any gum in here, right? She says clearly, taking a shot after your shot. All right, all right. I'll like take it, just like put it in the wrapper, like on on my desk. I don't like throw it away. I just I'm like, all right, see, I'm taking it out, put it down. And so you know I'm kidding. I got it. Don't worry. She waves her hand a little. Anyways, Halloween soon, right? Are you doing anything special? It's like a clear tonation behind it that can be assumed the remark was based off Maya's dress and attitude. Special? I'm not really the trick-or-treating age. Oh, I just thought, you know, she like points to what you're wearing. It's your favorite holiday and everything. Okay, well, it's late, so we definitely don't have time to unpack that. But just an FYI, Halloween's a pagan holiday. I'm Jewish, so no, nothing special. Um, and then kind of just gives like a big, like, forced smile. Like, oh, look at that. It's almost done processing. I better get back to work. Have a great night, Evelyn. Bye. <laughs> just kind of like waves, but like, it, she, does, I laughed. She does not laugh. Um, and, it's, it's like mocking, but not like too obvious. It's definitely clearly not Maya's personality, though. Yeah, and Evelyn honestly thinks you're being authentic. She's like, oh, like, okay, well, make sure we're all cleaned up before leaving. She starts to go out the door, like head on the other side at this point. Oh, and Maya? Yeah. yeah. Enjoy your vacation. The door shuts. Vacation? A few hours later, a transportation van marked Deceased Transportations pulls up in front of the building and rolls a gurney into the lab. After signing its receipt and escorting the individuals out, Maya walks over to the body bag, picking up the crime report, per usual. We see in big block letters the name Iago Green. Are you kidding me? I kind of just like toss the... Uh the clipboard with like the report like back onto like top of the body um and i like kind of intensely go over to the computer like sliding half the half the way there into the chair um 
and open up like an incognito window and like you see me pull up like Yahoo Mail or so you know something that nobody uses anymore AOL whatever <laughs> and um I kind of like sit there for a second and be like oh what's the password what's the password all right and then I, I log in okay yeah you log in you see one unread mail uh, I, I open it and I'm like have this like uncomfortable look on my face yeah you open it you see what is a one-way plane ticket with the name Maya Siegel on it for tomorrow morning early in the morning and then you hear the printer behind you start and the ticket begins to print itself on the office printer as you're holding the mouse in one place but the mouse on the screen begins to move to the delete button deletes the email and the screen flashes back to showing no incognito window. I hate it when they do that. And that's where we find ourselves, all these characters, in this room in front of a FedEx box. I'm going to go around in the same order and give everyone a chance to introduce their character real quick. Aesthetics. Yeah, aesthetics. Uh, we're gonna, we're gonna play under the assumption that y'all have, y'all have all came here and stayed in random different rooms. Y'all, y'all were told basically by the, uh, clerk of the hotel that you would be allowed in the next morning. And so, like, this is, this is probably not y'all's exact first time meeting. Maybe y'all have seen each other for an hour or so, but, like, this is the first time y'all have all come together and been allowed into room 333. Okay. So... Noreen, if you would describe what you care to describe about Noreen. Uh, yeah. Um, Noreen is, I don't remember how tall I made her. I'm just going to say 5'6", because that's, <laughs> she's about 5'6". Right. Um, dark skin, uh, curly uh, dark hair that's up in on top of her head, kind of like this. Um, very simple makeup on. Um, very, um, she is on the thicker side, um, very, a plus size, um, wearing, uh, just business casual clothes today, um, with a very sort of, uh, there's an expression on her face that she's trying to hide, but not doing a very good job. That's like, I do not want to be here right now at all. <laughs> um, and for, you can tell, sorry. oh, go ahead. No, you go ahead. You go ahead. I thought you were done. I was I, the only thing I was going to add is like like even though she is like plus size very much on the thicker side you can tell that like there is muscle underneath that like she is yeah heck That's yeah all. and for uh what we saw in the the little flashback there she is a psychologist uh yes okay cool amber Got it. I was about to say, let me not do the whole thing and not remember to unmute myself. So hi. <laughs> um, so I, um, Amber, uh, is a person that uh, has an average frame as far as his body goes, but there are like hints that there is at least some kind of strength to it. He's about 5'10 with um, medium brown skin and dark black hair with a white streak and his eyes are two different colors one of them being brown and the other one being a kind of an amber gold color um he has a bunch of tattoos but none of those are visible because amber looks a lot like i look right now nice and uh what what, what does amber do like in the in the real world as a job like what is his special set of skills so in the real world, um, for his day job, he works at a tech company um, doing analysis, just data analysis, making sure that the um, like that the codes run and that they are keeping track of what kind of things they're doing that keeps the doors open and keeps things up and running, mostly because it keeps him out of trouble. Why would why would he be in trouble? 
You're not there to ask me that now. Oh, my bad. Go ahead, through that. My, Sarah, Sarah my business. Business. Collaborative <laughs> storytelling. We tell each other every secret, right? Uh, <laughs> okay, beautiful. Yin. Uh, Yen um, is a uh, non-binary um, kind of mask-looking uh, androgynous person. Um, they are about six feet tall and are definitely not physically built. Um, they have kind of a lean muscle that they've never really had to work at to have. It just is, is there. Um, they've got really thick, short, wavy hair. Um, uh, kind of darker brown, uh, dark brown eyes. Um, uh, slightly, slightly tanned skin. Um, and, uh, they too have a myriad of tattoos that are quite visible, um, that are on the character art and not on me as much as I want them on me immediately. <laughs> um, but, uh, they, um, a lot of the, uh, tattoos that, that are seen on them for those who are in the know, uh, have a lot of, um pagan kind of uh roots to them so there's some runic symbols um some protection uh sigils and things of that nature um as well as some purely for aesthetic purposes because of course <laughs> they also have a hat that they wear quite frequently well every time that you've seen them which has probably been twice they really <laughs> like their hat Does it um, look like on their hat, hat though Oh, it looks so much like this hat Amazing. here, except the, the biggest <laughs> the biggest difference is around the rim, which is not on this hat. Um, there is kind of like almost a bandolier of like small little vials and stones and things of that nature um, that hold various things, which I'm sure you could ask about. None of them liquid, but uh, various different things um, of presumably witchy nature. Ooh. Well, they also dress is, very nicely. <laughs> what does what Yen do? Yen Besides is, skip college? Uh, Yen doesn't really have a job, per se. Um, they kind of are, uh, quote-unquote, self-employed. They travel a lot. They take a lot of pictures. They write a lot of blog posts. Um, and they technically, they're technically getting their master's degree right now. Technically. Yes, yeah, you uh, could drive my past you. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You saw nothing. <laughs> technically. Uh, they are technically, uh, studying for their master's in esoterica. Ooh. Nice, nice. Mm. And finally, Maya. Maya um is short. Um she's like five three probably. Um but her, you know, uh thick platform combat boots uh bring her closer uh to like Doreen's height. Um but Maya is um curvy. Um, and dressed in what I call it pastel goth, right? That's what it, that's the, uh, technical term if we're going by technically here. Um, and so she's wearing right now, like a, um, like a form fitting blouse and a high waisted skirt, thigh high socks and platform combat boots. But she is also kind of has, uh, loosely around her a thick, uh, like oversized sweater um and her hair is like this silvery um silvery purple but with the roots heavily showing um she's wearing a choker as well as a longer pendant with a um jewish star of david on it um and for her day job She's a lead forensic science technician at the Central Regional Lab of New Jersey Forensic Technology Center. Say that five times fast. <laughs> no thanks. Um, oh yeah, I'm Maya is 31. 
Um, how old is Yen? I, I wanted to ask when he said Yen is 29. I forgot to say that, Perfect. and I said it in chat. Yen is 29. Cool. cool. Y'all, y'all. And then, uh, well, Amber and Doreen, how old are you? I'm 21. Oh, baby. <gasps> baby. <laughs> baby. Oh. Um, I'm sorry. Mind your business. A lady doesn't tell her. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Fair, fair. Well, then Noreen, I'm just going to guess, and then you can whatever. <laughs> Noreen is 33. <laughs> okay. Perfect. The baby. <laughs> the baby. <laughs> I'm dying. Okay. Uh, yeah, but all of y'all are standing around this. Literally, y'all were allowed the key once all four of you showed up. You entered the room. There is a FedEx package box sitting in the middle of the bed. And that's it. Otherwise, it is a nondescript room. What do you do? Hey, Naveen, how you doing? It's been, like, so long. Oh. Maya's 31. <laughs> Sorry. I'm thank you. This thank you. Yes. <laughs> thank you. Sorry. Thank you. Oh, thank no. you. <laughs> Sorry. Um. Oh, Maya. Yes. It. It has been a, a long time. Um, I mean, like I know we talked, but like you know, I haven't seen you. It's been like a long time. Yeah. yeah Did you fly what, over? About five years. Oh my god, time is ridiculous. But anyways, you you fly here as well. Oh, no, I, you know, I live in, in Colorado, so it's just a... Oh, yeah, no, <laughs> geography, not my strong suit. Um, hey, ev like, kind of, like, realizing everybody else in there, hey, hey, uh, I'm Maya, nice to meet you, and you are... <laughs> kind of looks between Amber and Yen. Uh, ready to get started, but you can call me Yen. Cool, cool, Yen. Hi, I'm Amber. Cool, all right. Uh, I'm Noreen. It's nice to meet you both. Pick that um, up from the, the, you know. Yeah, said her name out loud. What's up? Well, it's always yeah, uh, nice to, you know, give a formal introduction, you know, polite thing. To... Never mind. You know what? I agree. We should just. I'm going to open the box. Yeah, that's. Yeah. yeah. Uh, um, our... Right. I'm just going to go to the front desk then. Wait, why? Isn't this the, you know, the job? Um... Do you want to open the box? You can open the box. No. <laughs> like a kid on Christmas. Find so, one of my presents. <laughs> right. If y'all decide to open the box, then sure. I'm just going to ask the front desk um, when this arrived here, because they might know, because they have to check that stuff. Um, so, you know, unless someone smuggled this in here, they might have a log. I'm going to just go ask if they have one. Seems like a reasonable well, thing. Uh, to weren't we told to come here, though? I assume, I mean, I can't assume what any of you all uh, fine people were told, but uh, I was told to come here. So I assume that was supposed to be here. Is there any markings on the box? Right. No. no. It's a FedEx package, probably about toaster to bread box size. I've heard that on occasion assumptions are dangerous, so I try not to make them. And no, I'm just going to go to the front desk. Yeah, I mean, I guess thorough's thorough, right? Hmm. Yeah, we zip down real quick to Amber at the front desk. Uh, and there's a younger blonde guy standing behind it. Yes. Hey, um, just real quick. I'm part of the group that's doing work in room 333 up there. Um, there's a box there. When did that get here? There's a box in your room? I suppose in a manner of speaking, did you get a package from FedEx anytime in the last couple of days? You see him, like, 
kind of looking at papers, but doesn't really care to get super into the paperwork. Because, I mean, he's like early college age working at a motel. And tell you what, if you if you don't want to do that, because I could tell that is the least interesting thing to do, um, I could just look at those. Do you mind if I look at those? Uh, I mean, I can't let you have them. I look, look. I worked like the past four days and uh, the four nights, and I never, I never got it turned over that there was a package. Uh, and maybe they missed that and was never delivered during my time. But. Look, if it's a box y'all don't want, bring it up here. Hmm. Your room three three three, right? Um Room three two nine. I'm going to I guess head back then. But uh, thanks yeah. for the info. For sure, for sure. Smooth. Enjoy your stay. At some point. Someone needs to get that kid a Red Bull. <laughs> I can't have them, but I, I can't have them, but I hear that they're popular. Uh, meanwhile, uh, yeah. in the room. Actually. Like... Oh, sorry, sorry. Actually. Would you trade that stack of papers for a Red Bull? I, I can't. I gotta, I'm paying my way through college. I'm getting a lot of trouble. It's, it's other people's money papers, you know. Fair enough. Couldn't hurt to ask. And I just keep going. Yeah. But that Red Bull. But that Red Bull. <laughs> 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 um, I, Up in the room while this is happening. Yeah. I think there's like a moment of just like quiet for Maya as they like wait for Amber. And they were just like staring and like not. So we're opening the box, right? Yeah. Okay. Thanks so much. Cause like this was getting real weird. I just, yeah, yeah I go into opening the box. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, you go to, and sorry, I'll take a step back. It makes sense. It's a little awkward for y'all. Like y'all kind of know how Delta Green works, but this is everyone's like first official mission out on your own. You're not, you don't have someone holding your hand. I blah, love blah, blah. this. <laughs> yeah. yeah, exactly. Uh, but <laughs> Open the box, cut all the brown tape off, open it. There is a piece of paper and a very old, partially battered cell phone. Um, you do notice that Maya, like, opens the box, um, but doesn't, like, you know, there's some people that, like, open the box and are immediately, like, halfway open, start taking things out. Like, she doesn't. She opens the box all the way, folds, like, all the corners down, and stares inside. Um... Okay, so there's like, paper. Yen is, oh. Yen is also, like, kind of staring at it but also is like almost a foot taller than you so it's like yeah <laughs> like okay over so top, oh, not over top of you but before i actually like touch that i just i want to is reaching in and grabbing okay well <laughs> i'm still gonna ask though like um all right you know like there's no no judge in here or anything like that but like is this everybody's like first time on like one of these amber you come back in at this point uh, yes, yes it is. It, yes, and I'm still unclear how they managed to get my contact information. Um, list. okay, um, we can talk about that later. I, that might be on me. That might be on me. I'm gonna assume that that's, it. is it your first time looking at Maya as I'm unfolding this piece of paper to read it? Oh, oh yeah, no, for sure. Like, I don't know what the hell's up with that thing, but like they it well, whatever, we'll get into it. What's it say? Uh, What's yeah. it say? You hold it, you hold it up to read it. You yeah. can bring everyone to I'll 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 bring everyone to the map and you can bring the, the map people to the map and We're all gonna I'm be saying I'm saying together. words. We're mapping. Everyone's mapping. Oh, I can read it out loud. Plop. All right, now everyone should have the PDF. And if you can read it, read it out loud. This is what oh, yeah. I am going to use and allow y'all to use. Y'all should be able to, now that I've shown it to y'all, and I, one second, hold on. We're getting used to this. I'm bringing it to the middle, sorry. Everybody, Everybody should have, please don't fight over it and make it horrible, but everyone should have control of this. This is going to be y'all's evidence board. 
So every time y'all get a solid piece of evidence, y'all can put it up here, move it, y'all can draw red lines if you wish, etc., etc. This is lovely. Um, yeah. And if you look at the wow. overlay to kind of match the little corkboard aesthetic you got going there. Okay. Um, I'm going to just show real quick Waffles um, the things that we, we did. Um, like we said, this is roll 20 that we're utilizing. Um, and we did a little bit of a macroing. Um, this is this is me, Syrup's uh, coding and, and, and fun stuff going on here. But basically, uh, if we have access to the token that you see that I'm moving around right now on the screen, if you just click on it once, you'll see at the top left hand side a button that says read so if at any point you don't want to be filtering through all this stuff you want to just click on like the thing on the board and hit read it'll pop up in chat and you can click read and it'll pop up the actual pdf or whatever that we're looking to do so i i i macroed that for mm. us god technology sure is neat <laughs> let's go but you can uh, go and read it in. <clears throat> Agents. Just kind of looks at everyone. Investigate the death of Agent Donnelly and any suspicious circumstances surrounding said death. Focus attention on 1206 Spooner Avenue. Extreme caution should be employed when investigating the Spooner House. It's been known to exhibit an unknown influence even over skilled agents. Uh, mission, determine cause of death of Agent Donnelly, determine if the Spooner place represents any ongoing threat to the public. Once these protocols are complete, the phone is present for further contact. Kind of uh, points in the box at that, uh, at that bit. Ensure yep. green box is not found. And all y'all would know from just Delta Green training, green boxes are usually like safe houses. Uh, they can be anything from a a van in a parking lot to storage containers to an actual like apartment but they're they're basically places that can be used to keep supplies for a long time and any agent that has a job there can use it for supplies that way you're not trying to bring assault rifles and stuff on airplanes oh we got our own green box i want to yeah, yeah, hang on hang on hang on Oh, what? hang on, hang on. As always, find any threat, stop any threat. If it cannot be reported, can't be stopped, report it. Cover it up as if nothing ever happened. Uh, and then some friendlies that we can contact and where the green box is. What are the friendlies? Like, what are they? Uh, Emil Yarrow, who is a parapsychologist, and Elizabeth Tucker, who's an antique dealer. Parapsychologist? Noreen, what's that? Uh, um, well, do you want the nice answer or my... I don't care, just what is it? Like, uh, you're a psychologist, right? So, like, what's uh, a parapsychologist? Uh, a crackpot who thinks that they can, uh, psychoanalyze ghosts? Oh, like the paranormal psych- oh, alright. Yeah. Yep, they range all the way from there to uh, investigating s people who report psychic phenomena and deciding if they're mentally ill or if something actually happened because they because they believe in psychic phenomena, like the parapsychologist does. Gotcha. Yeah. But stuff like hearing voices isn't weird. They just have to determine if it's real or not. Okay. Yeah. Fun. And most of the time, it's not. What is? Yen's reaction to when like just out of like the corner of my eye and like let me know if you want me to roll for this but I have a uh would like what do you want my like my search is 40 but I'm just out of the corner of my eye or human int is 50 how is Yen's like reaction to when Irene's like oh you know like a crackpot like whatever <laughs> uh there's a bit of like an eye squint in that direction um but doesn't really make like a big deal about it and kind of is just focused on rereading this paper just really intently just like so intently <laughs> perfect suddenly very focused on the yeah. suddenly really oh, man, focused look at this on that interesting piece of paper all right perfect this font though it's very <laughs> this yeah font it's, handwriting. Really, it's like this it's really good <laughs> definitely like 
you know, Georgia font or whatever. It's great. So they said not to use the phone till like after, right? Uh, phone is present for further. I'm, I'm already like kind of next to you in your personal space, like glancing at. Sorry, I'm a visual person. Uh, and just continues reading. Yeah, over yeah, yeah. And I'm just gonna hand it to you. That I'm just gonna literally like turn it over and like hand it to you. Oh, it's fine. It's, I don't. Oh, okay. I got. Uh, it. I got it. No, I. I'm good. Um. I mean, I don't see why we wouldn't be able to use it. It's a phone. Once these protocols are complete, the phone is present for the. All right. Well. Um. Cool. So. I hand off the paper to, like, after kind of looking at it, I'm like, I hand it over to whoever else wants to take a look at it, like Amber and Irene. Um, I'm immediately going to pull out my phone and just Google Maps the, like, the address, see if I can get, like, a Google Earth, like, view of it. I pull out my Blackberry Pearl. <laughs> oh, yeah. What year this is, is it? modern day, <laughs> right? What this year? is modern uh, day, right? This is, like, is. 2022. It is 2017. Perfect. 2017. Fantastic. Perfect. Why did I not put the map up here? I'm horrible. You pull you pull not... up a map and find it. Oh no, that's fine. You, yeah. Um <laughs> but so like it so Maya's expecting like I don't know, like maybe with everything there's a parapsychologist like a, a rundown like house that's been abandoned or something like on the edge of like a road or a cul-de-sac or a dead end like what do i what do i see uh you're like google earthing it so you can like actually see the house and stuff yeah like i'm gonna go to google maps and then i'm gonna like look at it from like the street view and like whatever if street yeah, view was sure. in 2017 i don't know time <laughs> i think yeah, it from was. the street it looks uh pretty up to date um do you have any kind of architecture or anything of that sort no no <laughs> it looks like a nice house all right so it's not like like run down or anything no it looks not, like not, a not 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 like particularly i mean it looks like maybe like ah maybe somebody could it could use a pressure washing on the outside and stuff but like so is it like, you know, when I was doing the overlay for this and I was like, oh, it's just a regular 19th century house. <laughs> um, okay. House. You, you hear Maya kind of like as she just kind of. Normal people. <laughs> it's just normal. That's what we're, that's the It's theme. just a normal house. I don't know what you're talking about. Looks like a nice yeah. house. Like Maya kind of says it under her breath as she's like zooming in on her phone. Um, I want to do the same thing, but for this green box location. Oh, yeah. Smart. Okay. Uh, uh. Oops, sorry. You do that, and you get that it is at a it is at Lander Storit, which seems to be a storage company. Um, I would like to uh just look up the two friendlies that we have listed, just to like. See if they own any businesses in town or, or like where we can locate them because it's just two names and like no means of contacting them. So makes yeah. sense. Yep. Uh Emil Yaro is the associate professor of abnormal psychology at the Central Wyoming College in Lander. And Elizabeth Tucker lives in this current like this small neighborhood of lander and runs a website called www.antiquetracker.com um can you uh just say and, what and you, uh, Emil's the professor of again uh abnormal psychology and you you can't find Emil's home address you do find elizabeth's home address it's listed like on her website. Thank you. Um, the immediate urge, by the way, to then go to that website was very strong. <laughs> I feel like it happens all the time. Yeah. I'm, I'm new to this modern day thing. <laughs> all right, so. 
we have some friendlies, we got a green box. I mean, like, listen, I don't know about y'all, but probably want to get suited up first, right? Want to hit the green box? Um, yeah, I think that would make the most sense. That way we don't have to double back later. And then we should hit up the friendlies first before going to the location. Cool, cool, cool. So... Are you planning on just walking into... Like, walking up to someone? And I'm guessing, like, going here for what? Supplies? Armaments or something like that? Aren't we supposed to, like, not be perceived or something? Well, I mean, like... Well, you've been to you've been to the training, right? Like they take you out, interrupt your life, just force you out to do some training. So everybody had that, that just me. Um. No, well, I got that no, too. it's Force it's is a, an interesting word. Um. Well, no, it was a little bit more like just. I don't know if I've actually. Hmm. Actually, how old are you, Amber? I... Sorry. Hmm? How old are you? Aren't you... You look young. Um, well, thank you. Um, moisturizers. Lots of moisturizers. And really good sleep. And lots of water. Um, and, and running. And... Only a little bit of Pocky, but it's the only snack that I'm allowed to have. Anyway, um, right. I'm I share 21. A look with <laughs> I, I think when Amber says, I'm 21, Noreen gives him that look like, boy, if you don't shut the fuck up talking about you're old. <laughs> it's skincare care and moisturizer. You're a little baby. <laughs> she doesn't say that loud, but it's like, oh, yeah, that like, look. you're a literal baby. <laughs> 21 i'm d i just kind of like turned to like everyone else in the room and i'm like is that a little young to be an agent like i don't know how they work or anything but that's like uh, you can drink at 21 i think that's old enough to have i don't know a secret job yeah but all right listen i, I didn't mean it in a bad way care I just don't think that they care. Yeah, no, that's kind of more what I'm talking about. Like, that's... All right, well, anyways, sorry, Amber. Like, no offense. Like, you seem like... None taken. Okay, cool. Uh, but I don't... I don't... Like, thinking about it, I guess I don't know that I've had, like, I, like training per se. They just told me to come out here and to be careful with asking questions because questions can lead to trouble. Mm-hmm. 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 Uh, yeah, they can. Uh, but also, I mean, we can, like, talk to people. We don't have to be invisible. We just gotta not let people know who we work for kind of thing. And if people ask, we gotta make up something for it. And but, I think it but I think it might be easier, right, to ask someone something if they aren't like, hey, what do you have that stuff for, is what I'm getting at. I think that's a No, yeah. Well, the I'm hope not, is I mean... that the screen box isn't, like, public property. That well, also, I'm not going to be like, walking walk around with, like, you know, like, five guns strapped to my belt, right? Like, that's not what I'm talking about. Yeah, I just kind of want to know, like, what... Oh, look at that regular normal house that we have now on our <laughs> um, that's, that's the Spooner Avenue house I guess what I'm saying is like I just want to know what, what, what we have to work with right like maybe it's got surveillance tech or something like that I don't know so I figured we don't gotta take anything but I want to know what we have it's that's got fair some sort of like storage facility so I doubt they're popping open these storage boxes or anything like that and if they are, well, we can, I don't know, sue them or something. I don't know. I mean, as long as, you know, the rent's being paid, basically, they have no reason to open it. Unless they have a warrant, which I doubt they would get. Wait, so... Green. So why don't we take all of this and get moving while we figure things out? Right. Um, who has a car? I, I, I mean, it's not. Oh, right. Nareen drove. I do. Too. Okay. Yeah. All right. So do we. 
want to go into cars or you want to consolidate here? Like, I don't... All right, I'm, I'm gonna... my car. Yeah, I, I'll... I, you know what? I'll just... I'll meet you there. Yeah, I'll just meet you there. That sounds... That sounds great. Yeah. Okay. You know, I'm just gonna um... start, like... Slowly, like making my way towards the door. <laughs> who, who picks up the phone? The, wait, does the phone like? Do we hear the phone ring? No, 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 like, no, no just no, like no. a pocket in the box. You're it's like, like a burner it, yeah. phone. What if, it, I'll what pick it up the. Like. I'll pick up the phone. Okay, give me a luck roll real quick. So. <gasps> just one d one hundred. You're aiming for under fifty. Why would you do this? Remember, is it, y'all. Is it nuggets, meets it, beats it, so it's fifty or under, or meets it does beats it. Okay. okay. <laughs> that is a nineteen. Thank good. Oh, nice. oh lucky, so you gotta, lucky. You gotta pick up the phone and you like accidentally run your thumb over a couple of buttons so the screen lights up and flashes and you see three names and numbers and addresses pre programmed to the phone. It is <laughs> hand handler, Emiliaro uh -huh. and the other woman's name, Elizabeth Tucker. Elizabeth Tucker. That's nope. We are extra I AF. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> Understood. We are. So, like, I, I see that. I, I see that, and I put that phone, put the phone in my pocket, and go. Oh, well, that's handy. <laughs> what is? <laughs> what needs? <laughs> Do you say that out loud? No, I say yeah. I just say like, oh, that's handy, and just put the phone away without any commentary on what was handy about it. What's, What's handy, handy about it? <laughs> I'll look, stop at the door as you say something. Is there and stuff on the phone? Happening. Oh, there are people we can call on the phone. That's what okay. phones are usually like for. Who? Uh, good. Great. All right. I'm going to assume. You... What, does it it's have... the people on the note. Okay. So it's just the two. Great. Cool. All right, so we're going to... Oh, and the person, I guess, that we're supposed to report all this to. They're on here, too. Oh, okay. So that part on the, you know, the instructions that says when we figure out, uh, what was it? Point one being the cause of death of this agent and two, the house situation. Handler mm -hmm. is what we call, I think, rem reminding myself from my, you know, definitely not forced training that I had to take. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. It's on handbook page yeah. three. I yeah. remember that from my yeah. also not forced training. Listen, I didn't mean like they forced me, like, you know, they dragged me there. I'm just saying they upend my life. It's not like I get to choose what days I take on vacation. Suddenly I get information saying, hey, you're going on like a trip. So I got to do it. I just don't like being told what to do is all. It's all on me. I, I love that. Mm, sounds Maya a little forced. Up on the sarcasm. <laughs> I guess that's, you know something? <laughs> You know something? I guess that's fair, but then again, field trips are kind of fun. All right, so um, mm -hmm. I kind of link arms car. with Nareen, <laughs> if you allow me to. Yeah. And I'm going to be like, all right, so we're going to go. <laughs> I feel like you link my uh, arm and like, I stiffen up and I'm just like, it's like flashbacks to college. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> come on. Right. Like, the good old days. Um, Amber, do you have a car? Um, no, I got a ride here. You can ride with me if you want, then. Um, sure. Okay. All right. All right. All y'all jump into some like cars. Closure? As we're, like, walking towards the car, just like this, th there doesn't need to be an answer, but they're just asking you. Do you mean people who make stockings? Oh, dear. You're, okay. Well, your music taste is going to be um, significantly altered today. <laughs> oh, you said hoser. I heard kosher, and I, I like, heard kosher oh, too. No, I, I, I heard, <laughs> I heard hoser like the uh, the no. basketball school in Ohio. <laughs> yeah, as when oh well, yeah. we're we're all having hoser. a completely different yeah. experience. Hoiser, <laughs> oh man, hoiser, hoiser. Uh, My uh, brain always pronounced it like hosea or whatever. I don't know. Hosea. Oh, you made it real fancy. <laughs> I'm just going to make a note here that when I get into the car, and yet it is like, this is Hozier. Like, it's one of those, I don't even know the name of this group to save my life, but I know the words to every song by them that is Excellent. played in the car. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, all of y'all go to this address, plug it into some GPSs. It's like 
four minutes away. Lander is tiny. It's like a town of like 1,200 people. I feel like so. it's like, you know, like not taking one car is a little bit of a waste, I guess. But like, you know, it's what up. <laughs> Anyways, how you doing? And I'm just going to like basically be catching up with Noreen. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Noreen doesn't Some small talk happens. Make a... Yeah, Noreen doesn't comment on like the whole taking two cars things because in her head she's like, I wanted none of y'all in my car. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to... <laughs> yes. <laughs> I don't want to be here. This is a job. None of us are friends. <laughs> this is not a family. <laughs> well, I mean, like, we're friends, though, right? <laughs> we're in the Discord group together, Noreen. Come on. We talk all the time. <laughs> I don't think Discord existed in 2017. I'm sorry to break it to Oh, you. no. Fudge. Discord absolutely existed in 2017. Did it? In sure. 2017? It probably wasn't. This, was, this yeah. backstory was written before, before I realized it was 2017. <laughs> Actually, yeah, Discord did exist in 2017 because that's it when did. I got a Discord account. Oh, yeah. Sure that's when I got yeah. a Discord account too. Um, right, in, yeah, in, Discord. Early in early 2015, a new tool called Discord showed up on the market. There we go. Okay, cool. Yen doesn't. Yen <laughs> wow. doesn't. Its tagline was, was like... not. Its tagline was not subtle. Skype. It's time to. Di it's time it to like ditch not... Skype and Teamspeak. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> and honestly. That's, ex and that's why I joined Discord. <laughs> away from Skype because I hated it. Um, yeah, I think Maya's immediately think, like, you know, it's been a while since you've been talking on the Discord. Like, is everything all right? Like, like, like pointing out that you're Noreen, not that active. <laughs> Noreen like has never spoken. To Discord. <laughs> she, she's like, she is much like me. She got into that server and immediately muted it. <laughs> <laughs> It's just all our old college friends. It's great. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, quick side talk in a little four minute drive, though. Y'all pull up to the lander, what it's called, store it. So store hyphen it store. Uh, you do have the number. So it's number 711. Um, but you imagine that you don't just have free access to it so what what do you do oh right we don't we didn't get a key or anything um is it one of those things where there's cameras everywhere um like in the store because there's storage facilities that are kind of like sprawled not connected to like the, the office if that makes sense but they have a lot of security it's so, like what does this kind of look like in terms of um access uh, this this place it has a electric gate like a lot of the storage facilities have, and it has a clocking it really quickly. Uh, actually, give me an alertness roll. Yay, rolling. Or if anyone has an alertness of eighty or higher, let me know. Wow, forty-four over forty. Oh, well, that oh is a no. <laughs> That's a that's a crit. It's a critical fumble. Oh, that's a crit. Great, great. Yeah. Double. You roll yeah. doubles on dice. Yep. If it's under, it's really great. If it's over, it's it's not. <laughs> yeah. So you're like looking around real quick for cameras, Maya, and you trip on a rock and almost skin your knee. But you you don't you don't <sighs> fine. You caught yourself. Just talking. Gosh. <laughs> uh, as far as you can see, it's it's easy enough to see that there is a camera on the electric gate. You're not sure about the rest of the storage unit. You'd have to like actually walk around and scope yeah, out. If I see a camera, then I'm gonna like assume. But also, you know, critical fumble for my first roll is Maya. Bodes great. I'm very. I'm, <laughs> I'm in it. Let's go. <laughs> Listen, get it out. Episode one, and then it's fine, yep. right. Yep, yep, yep. Um. So uh, is there like a an office or so, uh, like a like a yeah a window or something to talk to a person. Yeah, there's like a little office to walk in like to the right. I'll catch up with Amber real quick though if we like once we both like park and everything. I just want to ask is there any instructions about the storage unit on the phone? Just checking. Nothing? Okay. There's nothing. This is like an old ass Nokia brick phone. There's no note section. <laughs> yep. 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 There is there is nothing. There's barely texting. You're muted, Sin. 
said, it's not even a flip vote. It's a track vote. Like this thing gets <laughs> oh like three God. times as many minutes on nights and weekends. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, honestly. Ensure green box um, is not found. Okay, that's our only thing. All right. Yeah. Uh, so if there's like an office area, uh, Yen is going to walk to see if there's a, a person that they can talk to to get into wherever it is. I'm going to hang out yeah. by the cards. I'm not going to go in. Yeah, and uh, there, there is a person. He's standing behind the desk. A little, like, doesn't give you the biggest air of professionalism. It's uh, this, like, really tan, leathery skin, white guy with some greasy black hair, kind of in a white t-shirt that's dirty, and mm -hmm. some jeans. And he's just standing Come. back there. He's like, yeah. He's, uh, he's standing back there. You walk in. He's like, "Can I help you?" Uh, yeah. I need to get to um, a box. Uh, okay. We uh kind of lost the key. Yeah, which one's that? Box. I myself, me, the player, forgot the number that you just told us. <laughs> but I would 7 -11. tell. Seven Eleven. Oh, fantastic! I would tell them that number. He like stops almost immediately thanks like 7-eleven you said yeah is there a problem turns his back to you goes through a little bit of paper finds a folder goes in there a little bit of paper like yeah that uh donnelly guy stopped paying a while back ah uh, I mean, you can have it for 1200 That's the bill. <laughs> oh, what? Oh, wait, when did you stop paying for it again, exactly? Four months ago. Oh, is Donnelly the one? Yeah, um, the death of Agent Donnelly. Yeah, Donnelly is the agent that has perished. Yep. <laughs> oh. Okay, um, hold that thought. Uh, I'll be right back. I'm just gonna turn and I'm gonna uh, walk back to yeah, sure. everyone else. Uh, hey, actually, like raises a hand real quick while you're walking out the door. I'll stop and pivot in my shiny boots. Yeah. Friendly note, in three months it's ours. You, yours... Yeah, we just take everything in it, and we, I mean, we have to recycle the unit. There's a TV show about it. <laughs> <laughs> ah, all right. Yeah, just letting you know. I mean, we'd love the cash, but I'll take. I mean, yeah. Nah, uh, well, I'll figure it. I'll figure out something. Uh, don't worry. Don't worry about it. I'm gonna head what's, back outside. What's your human score? Um, forty. Okay, give me a roll. Come on, 36. Guys, let's let's go. Go. <laughs> 43 over 40. Okay. Yeah, I mean, he seems, he seems a little uptight about it. Uh, and, I mean, he gave you a... He told you something he didn't have to tell you. And that, that's yeah. it, really. Cries right. in human. <laughs> right. We just um, need Noreen okay, on so our shoulder at all times for all humans. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'll head back to the the rest of the group. Uh, so the good news, uh, the uh, it's still here. The storage unit's still here. Um, that, that's good. Uh, bad news is um, apparently Agent Donnelly was paying for it. Mm -hmm. And hasn't been doing that for four months, presumably oh, that's because not good. you know he that's not good. died. Um, and uh, that it uh, twelve hundred dollars to buy back. Um. Otherwise, uh, we um, it, we could lose it, and I think that's literally one of the things we're not supposed to do. So, well, well, like, to, like, be fair, to be fair. Whoops, unwrong one. Um, well, okay. here's the thing. Um, right. Um, 
for the amount of how long do we have until they do that like three months but i don't think we have access to it uh, unless we pay it looking around at the storage units that we see closest to us um what's the lock situation uh looks to be a one of those like latches that kind of folds in on itself and then a rather sturdy uh like bolt type lock that a that you don't think a bolt cutter could get through so here's a fun question handler sir um is this a lock that I have any experience with? Uh, give me a luck roll. Anyone want to give me a nuggy? <laughs> I'll roll. Welcome to this side of it. Yeah, Sarah, yeah, where yeah. Where you're begging and pleading for people to give you things, and they never do until you don't think that you want them. <laughs> and we're not even in a bad situation yet. I just want it. Hmm. Um... Oh, God, why does this keep happening? Wait, you said luck roll? Luck, oh, yeah. never mind. Just yeah, kidding. So uh, 47. Hey. Okay. It is a lock that you have, like, very particularly practiced on. Uh, so if you do a lock pick check, you'll have a plus 20. Oh, yes. Okay. Um, so kind of like, and I'm just looking around. i um, not really saying anything. But then at that point, um, so... Anyone want to tell me what the uh, camera stitch is like? I'm just kind of leaning on the hood of a car. <laughs> yeah, and I, I'll say group group collectively, all of y'all kind of looking around there. It's sparse, but it attempts to cover. It's not like there's a camera outside of every storage unit, but it attempts to cover every corner. Uh, so like there's there's one at the office building and then there's one in this back corner. And then there's one at this horizontal place. And then there's one at this back corner. You'd think maybe you could find two or three dead spots. But if one camera went out, it would there'd be a lot of dark spots. All right. Um. Um, okay. So while we're, like, while this is happening, um, you know, for just general nerdery on how these cameras operate and things, can yeah. I, like, can I roll for computer science? Absolutely. Ooh. This could be pain. I also, have a, I also have a question, but I'll wait till after the roll. No, yeah. it's definitely it's definitely pain. That is an A five over forty. Whew. Oh no! Yeah. You are not sure. You have not come across these cameras. They're they're a little little old school, a little out of your out of your realm. Uh, fair. Um. <laughs> Do I have snorted? <laughs> Do I know if Delta Green does like reimbursement for shit? <laughs> they said okay. the 21 year old. Just keep your receipts, right? <laughs> hey, I, I yeah, honestly I'm love like... these questions because your characters would know some of the stuff that I just haven't had time to explain you. Oh, for sure. Uh, Delta Green does not directly do reimbursements. That said, if you ever like want to contact your handler and have a good idea to set something up, say you want to be FBI agents, you want to be CIA agents, you want to be et cetera, et cetera. Your handler can usually get that going and it's just going to require a bureaucracy role for one of y'all. Um, and, and that gives y'all like proper credentials as well as you're in, say you're FBI agents, you're in the FBI system and then you request the FBI of stuff. Right, so you could, like, use the cover, potentially, of a different agency or something like that, pending your situation, but it's usually yep. situational-based. Yeah, and then and the, what that comes down... Like, you, you could request $1,200, but you have to put in paperwork. And then what that comes down to is you may get investigated, and if they ever find out you're not really an FBI agent, that's bad. Did the guy at the the front desk that Yen talked to say Donnelly's full name? Uh, just, just Donnelly. Said, he said that Donnelly guy. Yeah, I inferred. Um, can I try to do some Google search to see if, um, like Donnelly Death, Wyoming. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, immediately, pop, 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 pop. All kinds of things are hitting. Uh, the short and dirty of it is that a 
government agent died after going missing for two days in Wyoming. So his wife reported him missing. He he was found two days later dead in the bedroom of 1206 Spooner House. Spooner Avenue. A Spooner House. <laughs> uh, in the master bedroom of that house. Uh, it is listed as a suicide. Um, graphic picture here. Graphic picture there. Uh, trigger, trigger warning. Gore and suicide. Um, as you continue searching and you click on like a graphic picture to show it. It looks like. It literally looks like a bomb of blood went off. Like it is just huge spray. I think like while just on her phone, Maya lets out this kind of like sound. Uh, well, that that ain't pretty. Um, and this was about. I'll give you a little bit more information. This was about all four months ago. Uh, the FBI and stuff were reporting this and then it died down and that tracks for y'all it's Delta Green kind of let all this die down don't bring the public into a weird death kind of thing once it died down y'all got sent out um does the two things one did you say it said Delta Green like Google was talking about Delta Green no okay. no no, no. F FBI was reporting on the on the death because it's, it's like, there's a headline that's like, another odd death in 1206 Spooner Avenue. Okay. Um, and then the other thing is, do those things because uh, of everything that popped up. Can I get his full name? Uh, no. He, he is only ever referenced to as Agent Donnelly. Special Agent Donnelly. interesting um and doesn't like quote the wife or something like that uh sure what exactly are you looking for like her first name yeah uh michelle so it's michelle donnelly basically yes yes, yes. all right so listen y'all um i got two ideas for us I can try real quick, all right? I'm going to try one thing over here, see if we can just get access. And if not, we're going to have to come back a little bit later when there's less eyes, and I can still get us in. All right? We're going to break right. in. Yeah, I'm familiar with these locks. It's fine. All right. Bear back. Uh, I'm going to go inside. Just look okay. at, I just look at Amber and we're just going to break in. <laughs> Noreen looks unfazed by me saying that because oh, like they this were is roommates in college. <laughs> Noreen knows, just... by the way, that like in college was like when I picked up this lock picking habit of like just watching yeah. YouTube videos of how to pick locks for no reason. <laughs> I just like take a moment to scroll through my phone and look at whatever like my bank account is like my what my bank statement says at this moment, like. Would it be reasonable to assume that there would be enough money in there for me to be just like, here's twelve hundred dollars so we can get the information that we need to get? No. <laughs> and I, I'm just saying, I look, we can have. I spend a, it all on Amazon and Black Friday sales. Yeah, all that pocky. No, uh, <laughs> I'm okay. Look, I'll, 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 I'll step back. I'll say yes, but. It would be a significant setback to your character. Like, like you're going, you're dropping into savings, and say you have like two thousand total savings, and you've been saving up for three years. Like, we'll do it. <laughs> and that, and that's probably we'll similar case it. to all of you. I'm trying, I'm trying. So, oh, yen one hundred percent is not going to cough up any sort of funds. One hundred percent is very well aware well, of their financial just, situation, just to play and it's. A bad. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Just to just to like try to play by the by the rules a little bit. I know money's flexible, but it's also like one hundred to five hundred is where you can get a little iffy with rolling, and then five hundred above is like you probably need to requisition the government or 
steal someone's car or like you know and just to try to give like other character reasons if that's helpful like i would say that there's considerations of you would then have to fill out paperwork or you would own this your name's attached to it etc cetera, etc cetera. just it may or may not matter to your character but other things to think about that's true as well well it's one of those it's one of those things to think about because like for amber they have like an office that they go to. And aside from that, this is like a note to the audience and less to the players. Like when Amber goes, when Amber goes home, most of his life is like still just belongs to like Delta Green. It really yeah. doesn't matter as much like what he gets like what he gets paid to do or not do because of redacted that we'll talk about later uh -huh. totally True. normal redacted right <laughs> totally normal yeah. amber i feel like right. noreen is like i mean she's like she saves and whatnot and also she has like her family that's psychology money well i mean like so, that's like rent that's <laughs> not like... nothing i scroll through the phone i look at my bank account i listen to yen's question and i go well I suppose between that and jumping over the counter like a feral goblin to fight the person at the counter, this might be the better why? of two options. Why are those the uh, why are those the why it why are those the two why are those the two options? I like looking towards <laughs> Noreen now. Yeah. Why are those the two options? Yeah, Noreen is looking again. It's that that look like you are a child. <laughs> Amber. <laughs> Talk about no I'm gonna jump, like you can it. jump over the counter and fight. No, I didn't say I was going to. No, no, I didn't no. say general. I was going to do that. <laughs> no, no, it's the just the general idea of of like that being like the first thing that comes to mind, and it's like and we are supposed to like be here like inconspicuously and starting a fight is the most conspicuous fucking thing you can that's do. That's the thing yeah. also all, I, that, it's very conspicuous also uh, well, if well, we well. get caught breaking in That's true that's if y'all get caught breaking in but right. as this like argument is going down between each of you uh, what do you you walk inside Maya? Yes I'm walking inside um, um, Okay you see the same dude all right, so I, I, I walk in and I just like flash like a, a big smile and I like tuck my hair behind my ear and I walk up and I'm just like, hey, um, so you told you told my friend here, right, that that the um, Donnelly stopped paying, right? Yeah. Y'all friends of his? Well, kind of. I'm, fr I'm friends with his wife, right? Okay. Did you, did you hear what happens? No. Gotcha, yeah. So, you know, the reason the reason he hasn't been paying, right, is is because he passed away. Well. Right. That sucks. It does. No, it totes does. Uh, so, listen, um, here's the thing, though, right? So uh, we're here on behalf of his wife because we're started going through, you know, their their property and stuff like that. We found this information, but we don't have the key. Um, and really, like, she doesn't have the money for that right now. Like, she's going through a lot. And I really just want to let her know, like, what's inside, really, to see, like, you know, what, what of his, his stuff that we can clean out of there. So, listen, either way, right, you're not, you're not getting money for it. So just let us clear it out. And you know you'd be doing, you'd be doing a good deed, right? Because uh, it's for a dead person's wife. Can I try to give me a persuasion roll? Can I, can I can I hit him with the can I hit him with the old razzle dazzle? <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely like leaning over the counter. Um, you know, extra flirty. Um, <laughs> the slouchy sweater gets a little more. Yeah, slouchy. listen, she, like you know, <laughs> short girls, busty girls, you kind of have to. Anyways, all right. <laughs> I mean, you've done it. It has brought you through college. This guy is not interested. That's fair but, too. Uh, yeah, but also we're um, like uh, we're also in like this small podunk town yeah. where you're dressed pastel goth and they've probably never seen something <laughs> well, let me ask this let me ask this can i use my charisma instead because i'm i'm bold and confident or whatever is my features here your charisma is high right like 75 yeah, yeah my charisma is 75 okay i'll say your charisma gives your persuade a plus 20 
Okay. So, here we go. Just your, just your presence here. That's cocked. Hold on. Uh, wait, no, wait, plus, plus, uh, plus 20? 20. Is 60, right? Uh, is your persuade 40? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> then, then yes. God damn it, y'all. 61. Oof. Oh, God. That's unlucky. That is unlucky. You could say it's real unlucky. All right, so that doesn't work. Yeah, he, he looks at you for a second. He, like, scratches his head. Look, I got protocols to follow. State protocols. My place, but I still got protocols to follow. Well, you got protocols. If the wife... Eh, if the wife wants to give me permission to get in Donnelly's storage unit, then I can tell her what's in there, and she can decide if she wants to pay the 1200 or not. I don't mind doing that. But I, I, don't, I don't know you. How do I know you're not just... Somebody. No, that's totes fair. No, I understand. Yeah, I get it. Um, listen, you're real sweet. Thanks for offering to do all of that. Um, listen, let me talk to her. Let me call her up. Let me see what she says. And I'll let you know, all right? Sure. Cool. I'll be here. I'll be here. All right. Um, thanks. And <laughs> I'm going to turn around. Um, I walk back out. I'm like quiet until I get to um, to everybody at the car. And I'm just like, all right, so we're coming back at night and we're breaking in. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and on on that line of we'll come back tonight and breaking in, we will we'll go ahead and take our break. Back in it. We ended off with the line. We'll just come back tonight and break in. All y'all standing. At this point, it's like 6 p.m. Uh, in the fall, so it's it's probably like dusk, like proper dusk. Y'all are standing outside the gate now because it is, it's the place is locking down at this point. They close at six. Um, could we have? Could I have um done a walk around at the very least to just see if I could uh, identify which building slash storage unit it is? Yeah, did a walk around easy enough. You, I mean, do you have any specific questions about it or? Um. If you're giving us the the camera placements, I just want to know, like, because uh, from before, just yeah, yep. is it is it in a blind spot? Uh, quick judge, it looks like it is not in a blind spot. You'd have to, if you like, if you care about cameras, you'd have to find out what to do about one of them. Okay. Um, so we basically had to get out of there. Um, can we have just because we need to s decide what's happening? Are we, um. Do we want to just head up like a diner or something or that we could chat close close by? Yeah. I it's love just... a little 6 p.m. diner action. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> um, Find a little diner called Off the Road. <laughs> I love that so much. I don't know. I'm kidding. I, uh, that's, that's a waffles edition. That's not in the book. Yeah, no. I, any any pun I I <laughs> recommend. I don't, I don't care. I still like it. <laughs> it's great. Just a little ways off the road. No big deal. Um. All right. So like while. All right, we're just gonna get some some dinner then while we talk, right? Basically. Um, but listen, I tried to sweet talk him and he just wasn't, um, he talked about calling the wife and everything like that. And I want you all to know that we could do that. Uh, he just doesn't know like who we are, if we know her, that kind of stuff. Um, but I don't really want to like, you know, get her all in worked up in this anymore. Like if her husband's dead, you know, I just want to leave her alone. Okay. I don't want to assume anything about any of y'all is there any way we can actually afford to pay that because that would be the least inconspicuous sort of thing um and I, okay i'll be up front i can i i can maybe put like a hundred bucks towards it but like not if i want to make rent sorry i mean we could call the handler but you know I feel like they don't like us to bother them so much. 
but hey. It's, it's not just that. If we call the handler, then we have to get it set up with... She looks around to make sure there's like fake credentials for like FBI or something. And then we have to go through them for reimbursement and it's a whole thing. Well, and Delta Green doesn't reimburse directly. Yeah, and when Noreen says that, it like, yeah, you've all heard this and it kind of strikes some some nodes in your brain of well, if you did, it could while that could be very bad for your life if you ever got caught. It could also be beneficial to flash an FBI badge at someone else and get information, not just to store it, but if you need X, Y, Z, like you're, you're going to have a lot of things to do here. This, this store does not go ahead and I'll tell you straight up. It's not store it, go into house, buy. No, for sure. We can use that right we could we could use some credentials around here but to be honest i don't even know what we're work what we're dealing with so i don't know what would be useful and fbi when i googled it fbi was already investigating like F fbi was talked about in the news yes so it yes. wouldn't be that far off for an fbi agent to be back on at the scene of the crime further investigating yeah, and I catch y'all up, by the way, on, like, the quick Google search that I did find. I tell y'all, like, what what the deal was. So, I mean, yeah, do you guys want you want FBI credentials? Would that be useful? Can I use, you know, I, lingering? I think it would be. I mean, all right, not all of us can, you know, try to schmooze our way into to whatever situations that we want to be in. But, I mean, it... Listen, having credentials for something, uh, that's going to be useful regardless. I mean, I mean, you know? like, we'll just... And I mean, we can just come back to the green... I mean, they, they, he said that they're not going to clean it out for a couple of months. We can just come back in, like, I don't know, a day or so or whenever, however long it takes the handler to, you know, get all this stuff. Maybe we can go look at the house or something while we wait, you know? Yeah, the thing is, right, like, I said anywhere, that I was probably. friends with the wife, so if we do go in as FBI, I probably, you know, it should probably I be with someone else. I don't think the two else. of you should go in as FBI. Yeah. I've already just... seen your face. He would but we'll just, just come... make, uh, cause more questions than answers. Yeah, I'll just say that, you know, I talked to the wife, and, and she reached out to the old FBI contact that was in town that looked it up and, like, whatever, and, and they're helping us out. That's all. Or something like that. It doesn't matter. I don't have to go in. But the point is, we all down to try to see what we can get. I kind of look over at Amber, who has the phone. Want to make a Amber's call? Amber's playing Snake. <laughs> <laughs> Just playing Snake on the phone. Um. Okay. So, you want to call the handler? Call, text, whatever. I mean, yes. I don't know if that phone can text, but yeah. Uh. What do we want to tell them when we call them? Credentials. FBI, FBI credentials. Okay. For use in our investigation. Now listen, I know that tech could be a little old for you, but I, uh, I'm like, I'm smiling at you to tell you I'm, I'm com like absolutely teasing you. Um, but I think you get I it. I am. Well, okay. Well, I guess we will see. Um, what happened? You, are you sure you don't? We don't want to investigate the place that this like that this um, agent died before we do that. Well, it said I mean, extreme caution the on the note. Started right. I mean, it's on the instructions. I mean, it's not going to be like it's not going to immediately show up, right? So we can call it in to get that, and then go and check out the house, and then you know, right? There's no reason we can't do I'm both. Listen, I'm just, you know, real gently going to reiterate, you know, some of the words that stood out to me on the page. Hold on. Where, where is it? Uh, I kind of like pull it out of like a pocket if nobody took it from me. Um, and I lay it out on the table in the diner and I was like, well, oh, there it is. There it is. Extreme caution. Those, those two words, you know, extreme caution. Yeah. We can at least reach out to the friendlies before we go investigate the house. Yes, that way we're still doing I like something. that. I like that. But listen, either way, right? We want to call in and get some credentials if we can. So what do you okay. say, Amber? Well, we probably we probably shouldn't do that in the diner. Maybe like maybe I can finish my waffle 
Um, the waffle's good. I'm enjoying. And then after that, sure. Uh, I just kind of hold my hand out for the phone because I'll just tap outside and make a call. <laughs> so that's thinking too, but but I didn't. Yes. <laughs> I just put the phone down in the middle of the table. I take it and keep and keep and keep eating a waffle. No, listen, I don't. Blame <laughs> I like. You. I hear they have you know real good waffles here. Um, I have like two. I have like two bites left. Like I don't know why people are in a hurry. <laughs> also, notice I want to say like out of the three of you. Um, Amber it has probably like eaten like either the most food or the second most food. Like there is why is Amber eating so much food relative <laughs> to a, his size? Just a growing boy. Just a, just <laughs> a growing boy. Just a growing 21 year old boy. Going through, go, going through 21 year old puberty. <laughs> Having a growth spurt right now is normal. You just disrespect that Amber did not ask for. I love this. I, I, just, I can't. Like, the fact that it's Maya and Noreen, and they're both kind of this, like, jokey, like, oh, you sunny, you little kid here. And Yen's just being here being like, hang on, wait a minute. <laughs> I think it's because, I, this is why I latched onto it, because Amber was like, we're like, oh, you look so young. And he's like, Oh yeah, skincare. I do a lot of water, skincare. I do my skincare, blah, blah, blah. I'm now 21, mad. Just like, your skin's supposed to look like that. <laughs> <laughs> You're a baby. <laughs> you are, you were just born yesterday. <laughs> Two of those things can be true at the same time. <laughs> um, so, so if you put the, if, if it's on like the table and Noreen is like, you know, going to grab it, um, I'll be like, oh yeah. And I'll like scoot out of the way to let you out of the booth <laughs> so you can go. Um, but oh, yeah, you you fully have me cornered. So yeah, of course I do. <laughs> um, I'll I'll sit back down though with Amber to let them like finish their food. No, like if you leave with the phone, Yen's not leaving. Yen's like, still if, hanging out with their coffee. No, like <laughs> if 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 like Noreen takes the phone and leaves to like to go and make this call, I am immediately going to ask for two more waffles. And uh, like a side of bacon <laughs> immediately. No, that's a real good idea. Actually, can I have some waffles too? I heard you guys have the best in town, right? Like I'm like smoozing with the with the waitress because there was totally a sign on the door that literally said like best waffles in town. Yeah. <laughs> oh, like I make a offered in town. Yeah. <laughs> short, the... short little waitress comes up and she's like, yeah, so four waffles and some bacon. Um, I'm good, actually. I'm, I'm... I, I take them. I take a moment to like read the waitress's name tag. It is the one social skill that I have in public <laughs> situations is reading name tags and referring to people by their names. It is Leticia. Um, thank you, Leticia. I would appreciate it. Okay, so four waffles. No bacon for me. Bacon. Uh, no bacon. Yeah, no pork for me. But uh, no, I'm, I'm, go I'm good. Just I just. You want just want coffee? Would be coffee just refill? Coffee. Yeah, hot, more coffee. Hot yeah. topper. You could just hot, yes, great. Uh, if you have it, like, do you have pie or something like that? That would all that would be. Yeah, you want apple or peach? Uh, 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 cut, cut to Noreen. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> cut, camera cuts I, I, to Noreen. I was all gonna say, I feel like Maya's also ordering for Noreen. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you say pie, and I'm like, oh, actually, yeah. Can you? Uh, <laughs> what was it? What she like? She liked, I think she was. No, she's allergic to cherries shout out jordan uh she's delicious to cherries so <laughs> let's do I'm uh fully incorporating that into my character. sorry not even, i could be absolutely no, wrong it. It, is, it is now canon no, it's um okay uh so yeah don't do that and then you know what for me can you just do some extra whipped cream on that anyways okay i'm done <laughs> uh yeah absolutely i uh, cut to nari <laughs> Please cut to Noreen. <laughs> cut to Noreen. No, I want to keep. I want to keep this or ordering. Uh, how long can I order much. food for? I will please. <laughs> I mean, this is how you fall in love with the characters until. Uh... <clears throat> All right. Wait, wait, hold on. <laughs> no, no, no! Please continue. Go, Noreen. Please dig us out of this hole. So, this food, Noreen, I, I, this food come up. I won't. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Noreen just stands out there and does Noreen nothing. Noreen waits. I just stand, like, like the emoji, just waiting. I'm like a, I'm like a, an NPC in a video game just waiting to interact with me. <laughs> Weirdly enough, the handler calls you. No, I'm just kidding. Oh. That doesn't happen. <laughs> 
do you, on my do you personal cell phone, I throw it out. <laughs> <laughs> you actually wait, or are you giving the handler a call? No, 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 no. I'm not waiting. I, I call okay. them while they're having this interaction. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it rings twice. It hangs up as if they dismissed the call. Mm -hmm. And then you get a call back from an unknown number. I answer. Agent. Yes, we are in need of some uh, FBI credentials for this investigation. It seems that Donnelly was paying for the box, and now we don't have access to it. The green box. Correct. Here, like a... All right. Four? Mm, did we decide on four? You I'll get just, to decide I'll now, Noreen. <laughs> Noreen looks into the through the window at three people having a debate over pie. Um, <laughs> the waitress is still standing there taking the order. <laughs> yeah. I, I'll, I'll get yeah four, but like we can also like figure out like who's going to use it at the storage unit later. Yeah, uh, yeah, for one for each of us. All right, you have. A vehicle, clothes, and anything you need outfitted as well as badges and IDs in three days. Three days. Okay, thank you. So it, it's Thursday right now. That would be Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Okay. Uh, thank you. Yeah. Um, and he just hangs up. Okay. Noreen, uh, I hang up first. <laughs> there, make, make me a bureaucracy roll but you're gonna roll with his skill so give me an uh Ooh. it's a bureaucracy at 80. Ooh, at 80 okay oh my goodness Rolls uh y'all gonna love this i got 69. Ay. Oh, nice, Ay. nice 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 nice, nice. <laughs> okay well you don't know what would happen if you failed but it, everything will likely be okay meta meta game wise so. Right when I mean it better be over sixty nine. <laughs> <laughs> better be just fine if every perfect. It is perfect. You get six cars and nine <laughs> uniforms. Yeah, I get oh, six million sick. dollars too. <laughs> I sell all of the things in the storage unit and make all of the money. <laughs> um. Uh yeah, I'll um after that I'll I'll head back inside and and let everybody know. Uh, Time three frame. days, huh? All right. Also, Naveen, you like uh, you like blueberry pie? I can't remember, but you have some. So, anyway, so uh, I prefer a peach cobbler, but that's fine. They they were out. I, they were I slide out. my peach pie across. No, they were out. And take she took the last slice. <laughs> did you not want the peach? No, I did not. <laughs> 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 Because they didn't offer me a blueberry pie, so I'm gonna take your blueberry pie. <laughs> they said they had apple and peach, and somehow she yeah. got blueberry. Who knows? Yeah, who knows? <laughs> who knows? Syrup, <laughs> syrup doesn't have object permits. Like, come on. <laughs> Anyways, um... it used to be apple, but it's a weird color now. <laughs> that old, so that old I Wyoming do. apples. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> oh no. Um, <laughs> So all right, so we got three days, right? We got three days to to kill. Listen, we I'm a, let's make a list, right? Let's make a list of stuff we could do. Um, cause we, uh, well, I'll point at the paper that's on the table. We have a list, right? Yeah, we have a list like that. But I'm Just talking about tapping the table. All right, I get it. But listen, things like we can canvas the neighborhoods, all right? We can canvas the neighbors, see see what, what they have to say about the house, right? Because we gotta use extreme caution and I like tap it back for you, uh, like a little a little sassily. Um, so we can talk to the neighbors, that's a list. We could talk to the friendlies, that's a list. Uh, we can, uh, you know, do some research, see what's been going on around town. We can talk to the, to the folks around here because clearly you made headlines, right? We gotta see what the FBI was investigating. It we made some... headlines, but also one of those articles mentioned that it was another murder in the house. Exactly. I'm just concerned. going to take a moment while they're talking between bites of waffle because, like, my mouth is full and I'm clearly, like, exempt at this moment. I'm going to look for 
urban legends for Lander, Wyoming, because listening to talk about canvassing and looking up articles makes me think about are there urban like legends about the stuff that has happened over here in like, quote unquote, a haunted house of some kind? I love that. Okay, give me a look roll. People's story. Not a luck roll, please. Get lucky. Oh no. Um. Okay, so I don't know which of these things is which. That's how we oh no. Oh, do you have like a, you don't have a tenor? Like a one with a zero? I, 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 I do, but I got- Did you roll three zeros? No, I didn't. Okay. So, okay, cool. Okay. Well, I got like two, double zeros and an eight. So I'm guessing it's an eight. That's eight. That That's eight. good. Yep. Okay. That's so nice. good. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you're scrolling through like some urban legends and you see that uh, there is like a, a random article that is likely clickbait. It's saying that uh, old the old faithful inn at Yellowstone in Wyoming is clearly haunted uh, on the second floor. Scrolling more and more, you see that the historic Plains Hotel in Cheyenne. Uh, one night, she caught her somebody caught her husband upstairs with a woman and grabbed his gun and killed them both. Uh, then you can catch flashes of all of them on the second floor in this place. And then you keep scrolling, you keep scrolling. And you find one, it's like an offshoot article about 12, about Lander, Wyoming. And this one actually pulled up Lander because it's so small. The other ones pulled up like proper capitals. And it says, uh, 1206 Spooner Ave, House of Death, question mark. Mm. And it goes on to, it's like. Again, this is like the kind of article that nobody would trust because it's just such an offshoot, like personal blog type thing. This is and hosted on an angel fire site is what you're trying yeah. to say. <laughs> oh, yeah, <laughs> and it, it, doesn't, it doesn't go into any kind of major detail. You don't get dates, you don't get names, but it says it's like in the middle of it, the one line catches your eye of in, in the past 50 years, there's been over 10 deaths at this house. And then it's like dot 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 and 10 new owners like basically saying like somebody dies somebody buys this house somebody dies somebody buys this house somebody dies somebody buys this house so 10 deaths that over 10 deaths 10 were the owners words used. and 10 deaths in the last 50 years yeah o over 10 deaths were the words used over like, 10 deaths yep Again, no no very specific numbers, no dates, no names. It was just like, there's been over this many owners, and they've all died. And that was 5050 years. Yeah. Yep. yep. Okay. Um, I open a new tab in the browser and see if I can look up information on who lives there right now, if anyone. Mm. Okay. Yeah, you're looking it up. It looks to be... Uh, it looks to have an open house scheduled in two months to like sell the house. Who's the, well? Um, who's 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 doing the open house? Like, what uh, real estate company is that? Lander Real Estate. That's why it makes up something very quickly. <laughs> Seems to be in Lander, everything, everything here in, in this small town. Yeah, everything. Yeah, I mean they're so tiny. It has to be right. <laughs> It's the only one in town. <laughs> that's how it was. That's, uh, hey, I'm I'm from a town of like 1400 Alexandria, Alabama, and like everything was Alexandria Auto, Alexandria Gas mm. Station. <laughs> like, <laughs> Can't miss uh, it. Literally. Ha has so, Lander Real Estate been the seller? Been like the the agency for all of the sales? Yes. Can you tell that? Okay. Second question: so, Is that the only real estate agent in town? Well, uh, I, uh, I sorry. I'll take a small step back. One, yes, it's the only real estate in town. Established like 1985. So to answer your question, Noreen, prior to that, it was like... Waffles doesn't know enough about this, but it like it went to the state or whatever back when there weren't proper real estate companies to grab a house up that someone died in. And like bid on auctions what whatever happened happened but it wasn't a real estate company that sold it from like night 
19 whatever to 1985. Because all of and us are asking these questions, are is Amber sharing this with us then? I just want to clarify. Um, I might, depending on what I get for this last question. The last mm. question would be, I would like to open up a browser tab and see, like, I would just want to Google um, 1206 um, Spooner Avenue obituary. And see who obituaries yeah. you know, like came up with um, where the person is listed with this address. Okay. How I you're many the, the Zestimate? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what's the Zillow? Uh... <laughs> Listen, we can't afford twelve hundred dollars for storage books, but, but what if we what buy, if buy this house? creepy house? <laughs> <laughs> you... I mean, the house is being sold for like one dollar, <laughs> probably. <laughs> When you are looking it up, you you get the sense that it has been published on the internet before. So like a page once existed, it says, and then it comes up 404, page no longer exists. And it says, uh, redirect to Lander County seat. Okay, where does that go? That goes to like uh, the Lender County seat official website, which is like a government website. He said and seat. like through through all the clicking, you can't get to the obituaries of honestly any house, but this one too. He said seat. 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 County seat. So like S E A T. Like city hall, essentially. Basically, yeah. It's like so city hall. Oh, so okay. So it's like pub public records, quote unquote, but like yeah. not necessarily online public. So I'm sitting here with a mouthful of waffle and I'm listening to everyone talk. And then um, y'all see Amber do the following. At like mid, like Can I'm like talking again? about like- Cause I missed it. But like this, it's just like- Waving their hand. Waving a hand to like, to kind of get everyone's attention. So and like- then I just go, I kind of, um, you see me point at myself, you see me do this gesture like I'm picking up something, and then you see me point at the phone. I don't know if any of you are trained in sign language, so I'm just describing what the gestures look like. Yeah, the podcast listeners yeah, also appreciate sure that. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I don't think uh, any of them are. No. No, but I feel like those, and you can, I can roll for this if you need me to, but I feel like those gestures are basic. It's like, I found something like, me like pointing to himself and then yeah. pointing at the phone it's like i i found something you definitely get the sense of like hey yo i need your attention look at the phone yeah uh, i will say after i finish like chewing the bit of food that i have i then go i found a thing okay and then i just go to the first tab where i look for urban legends about um, the Spooner house and then I just kind of put the phone in the center of the table so everyone can read it while I continue chewing <laughs> yep. and so, and so yeah, yeah. All, the, all the information gets relayed everything I've told Sin y'all know alright well there we go that's another thing to add to the list uh, Lanza County seat we can take a look at that looks like Amber here is pretty good at uh, doing some research so maybe so you just that? Again, you just see me like more hand gestures. You see me like, uh, like point at myself, do a thing with like V hands where I look like I'm rifling through something. And it's kind of like, I'm a, like the translation for that roughly is I'm an analyst. Like that's a thing that I do. So <laughs> like there's all of that. There's also a thing if Amber has his mouth full, he signs because you don't have to have, you don't have to be able to talk in yeah. order to sign. Mm -hmm. all right, well, and I'm we'll forget sure you have, that. Um... I'm not sure what that is when you let like I'm trying to like interpret the signing as as Maya uh, eventually getting there. Oh, sorry. Thank you. I appreciate the compliment. I'm an analyst. It's fun. Oh, and you know sign language. Is that what that is? Um. Yeah. Um. It's ASL. Like it was good for learning more words for when talking is a bad idea. Honestly, I'd like that. Maybe you could teach me some. I like it. That's smart. Silent communication. 
um, in Yen's head, in Yen's head, they're saying, I don't think Maya needs any other ways to talk. They talk enough as it is. <laughs> but they're just going to sit there and they're going to hold their <laughs> coffee cup a little bit tighter and <laughs> not say it out loud. Um, Noreen's probably thinking the same thing, to be honest. Um, <laughs> especially this after fine. living with her for like four years. <laughs> she's like, do not give her any more ways to communicate with other people. Um, but, but I think Noreen will say, like, <laughs> uh, while they're trying to, um, you know, as they see that, like, trying to get to the obituaries leads to, like, this, like, public record site that doesn't go anywhere. Um, well, it seems like this town is small enough that maybe it would have its own local newspaper. I wonder if they would have published the obituaries and if they have any archives that they could or that we can i mean through. wouldn't wouldn't like the actual government records be public like probably both i mean if they're not at the library maybe they're although i would like to go to the library i didn't bring nearly enough of my own research to so i think through. there might be some concerns with trying to find things at the library because they're the information that you would be able to find in the library would typically also be listed on a publicly facing government website but you can't not if it's find not, it there either if it's, if it's not well, digitized yeah like the newspaper yeah. records could be in the library it's like you say like in paper well like the thing Remember is paper it was it was a redirect He's though, too young. right <laughs> it's he does make a good point it's, Why it's would a redirect, it redirect which, if they're not digitized? Which it means, right, that it used to exist, and then something happened and it doesn't exist anymore. We don't know well, what that is. Was it like at above table? Was it like a like a Reddit post, essentially, sort of thing that is now redirected, or was it like a, a like a website that had all it was these? There's a website. Pictures? No, like it, it was like the thing with the obituaries that I tried to look up was I went to go look that up because normally obituaries are public records and that redirected to the government website, but it had 404 errors. It basically said like this, this page does not exist, redirect to Lander County seat, redirected there. It's a normal government website, but you still can't access any of the obituaries. Well, all right. So listen, we could do, we could, we could try to figure it out. We don't know. We don't know. So we can go to the library to see if they got anything physical because, you know, can't hurt to try. And then we can also try to see where the Landy County seat is uh, and see if they got wouldn't anything they... physical as well. Would that be at the would that li be at the library or would that be at the public records office? I will there, maybe there, both. Yeah, maybe y'all would know because y'all looked up a map earlier. But like there, there is a building called the county seat, and it and th honestly, in this small town, it functions as both. It is a public records office and a library. And and above oh, above perfect. table, like I'm not. I don't really care. Like the, I'm. I don't know the right thing necessarily. But like above table, I think I'm just trying to say like we can go find out. We can go look where oh, no, we like, want to look. Right. This is like. Also above table, this is me being a nerd because I have a 50 of bureaucracy. So being like, this is how paperwork works and this is where you find government files and things is a thing that I just have to know. Perfect. So, so I'll be, listen, Yo. so like Amber knows what he's talking about here. So we'll, Amber, you could run, you know, one point on that maybe. Okay. Uh, but also it's in the same building. So like. Right. And then. Easy peasy. We can split up like Scooby-Doo characters. Yeah. Yeah. That actually would be great for me. Honestly, I I do really good by myself. So that's actually really, that's, a, you know what? I do enjoy you, Amber. That's a great idea. All right. Well, you look at paperwork. You, what are you, which one on this list are you taking in? Oh, I'm going to do some of my own personal research, actually. Yeah. Like in what direction? Um, the more supernatural direction, uh, I may call up this, uh, I believe you, Noreen, called them a potential crackpot person. Um. I did, yes. Yeah, I'm gonna probably talk to them, because I think I might be able to actually talk to them without offending them. There so is a loud sip of water from where- about that? 
There's a loud sip of water for me at the table. Hostility. Uh, yeah, maybe not calling everyone um, who has different ways of seeing things. Uh, not, um, uh, I don't know. Uh, legitimate. I didn't call everybody who sees things different way. I just called this specific field that. My point still stands. Maya just passes. Your point some is waffles. noted. You did what? Oh, food waffles. Gotcha. Sorry. I heard my name. <laughs> <That's what's laughs> How unfortunate that this entire this entire establishment just happens to only serve waffles and I feel like pie. this should be a bit every session where we bring up waffles. <laughs> oh God, no! <laughs> Please. <laughs> <sighs> okay. Uh... Regardless, I think you all have the house structure situation handled i'll handle a little bit more of the imperceivable things that's where um, my strengths lie i'll go check the, i'll go help with checking out the library in the public records office how far is that from, from here anyway um it's next not door. <laughs> just kidding yeah not, not very <laughs> everything's far everything's, everything's basically within five minutes of each other the kicker being that it is now about 8 p.m so almost everything's closed as well. The diner closes at nine. <laughs> oh, boo! <laughs> so when you say Damn, when you say exactly. five it's a small so town, fun. when you say five minutes, do you mean like walking or driving? Driving. So okay, it'd, it'd be a solid what like hour walk probably. I don't. I, it's hard to go from walking to driving, but that that makes sense to me. Is there um a quick Google search for? Is there like um a, a coroner's office? and or um like police i guess yes there are both um based on like my my knowledge and my background um if i wanted to get an idea of potentially like a forensic reporter whatever for the bodies that have uh been found as far uh thus far anyways um how the best way to go about that would be uh, the coroner would have any obituaries and death records, period. Like if like if the body came through them, they have a record. Uh, the police would have anything that is considered other than like natural causes death. So anything from suicide to basically they wouldn't have natural causes or accidents listed. Uh, so I don't think so I would have to go to the police for this one. No, you should go to the coroner if okay. you want everything. Alright. Um, but the police would have, like, suicides and if there were any murders or anything. Um, okay, so... so uh, I'll be honest, I think the police is something that I'd want to hit up uh, when I got a little bit more credentials with us. Um, backing us up. So, I'll hit the coroner's office. I'll reach out to the antiques. Uh, friendly. All right. Sounds like we got a plan. Glad I made a list. <laughs> like I say, like a little under my breath. Uh, <laughs> um, all right. So do we have rooms at that motel? Where are we staying? Handler yep. or slash well, out of game handler waffles. <laughs> Y'all have one room, room 333. You know, based on what you've been told, you know, it has been booked for a week. It's gonna be awkward. Uh... <laughs> it is a it is a double twin bed situation. Oh my god! <laughs> um, dang, uh -huh. not even fulls. We not even queens. We got twin sizes. That that could barely yeah. fit one person. <laughs> it, it's Motel Six up in here. All right. So, well, are we headed back to that motel then? I guess if everything's I, closing. We don't really have any other place to go. All right. I mean, I could just go home, but <laughs> I feel like I would end up in a, in a black box somewhere, so. Right. 
So yeah, above, above table, y'all can basically, at this point of the night, y'all can go back to the motel. I'm gonna try to get anywhere a that you wanna, anywhere that you wanna break into, <laughs> or the house. Okay. Again? What? Wait. What time is it? It's like, uh, it's like 8 p.m. Later, right? It's like 8 p.m. Okay. Yeah, full, full dark outside, but it's it's like 8 p.m. Basically, everything in Lander itself is closed, minus the diner. The diner closes at nine. So we've been like riding around for a bit today. Have I seen good places to go for a run? Uh, yeah, for sure. I think so. I mean, I th I think there's plenty of like a from back roads to even like nice it's like old downtown feel so there's like some nice old downtown blocks and then you even kind of motel six is on the outskirts of it so if you went away from lander you would be running kind of into into the wilderness more still along a road so you're not super dangerous but you'd be running away from buildings kind of thing okay so assuming that there's not like immediate physical danger um, I'm just going to be like, well, it's late. I'm pretty sure doing certain things that we consider today might be suspicious. So maybe we just go and get ready to have some rest and things. It is getting kind of late. And then everybody just at 8 p.m. Like, <laughs> so. Um. All right. Yeah, I mean... If you're tired, that's that's fine. Um, but listen, we got one room, so I'm gonna go ahead and get us. Or well, I'm gonna get myself another one. But um, Nareen, do you wanna do you wanna double room? You wanna, you know, old college days, or you want your own? <laughs> Just like the good old days, right? <laughs> <laughs> At least she asked. <laughs> At least you did ask. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I think just for the sake of everything, we shouldn't all split up too much. We don't know what's going on around here. So yes, I will bunk with you this okay. time. Sounds good. There's a look where Maya looks over at Yen, opens her mouth, shuts it, Pops like a bubble with the gum that she's chewing and turns towards the like she had a thought, she chose not to say it, and uh <laughs> goes to get another room. Uh I'll Shady. like kinda I'll scoop myself out of the, the booth and say, Well, I'm gonna go head back then. Uh did you wanna go? now amber or do you want to sure head back with them all right all right okay. and as, as everything's wrapping up for the night uh is there here's anything the specific yes. okay okay here's the thing as soon as we're in the car uh and yen starts driving for a little bit um absolutely is gonna pull out their phone and uh get directions for spooner avenue and say to amber we're just gonna make a quick pit i just we're just gonna make a quick pit stop i just want to look at that i just want to look at the house we're not gonna go in i just want to look at it i need to get a vibe first okay. is hosier not a it's vibe it's gonna sound strange but i'm gonna talk <laughs> to some trees all right <laughs> amber leaps what? out of the car <laughs> <laughs> this is like isn't isn't hosier a vibe yes it's d different Different, it's different. Listen, uh, you can stay in the car. We can keep it running. It's it'll take like I don't know, take, take ten minutes. You know something? It's probably best that we not be alone, like we just said a moment ago. So I'll come along. That's fine. Okay, great. But I do have to be back at the hotel before nine forty-five. Um, mostly because. I have to run. That's that, that's fifteen minutes past your bedtime. So <laughs> I, the, the effort to be like, well, I can give myself a fifteen more minutes. Okay, it'll be great. <laughs> uh, 
Oh, uh, like just run, like just ex- just uh, like exer- just exercise routine or? Oh, uh, well, you know, it's, yeah. And we, like, obviously we got all of this is just like casual talking on the road or whatever. Oh so yeah, yeah, like yeah. absolutely. The... Like Yen was driving before saying, oh, hey, we're going to stop at this house also, by the way. <laughs> You're um, like so in front of the house. It's like, like, oh, by the way. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's, way. yeah, it's kind of, it is kind of, um, you know, like my thing. I've been doing that for honestly as long as I can remember, but you know, just running off like whatever energy I have left in the day so I can make sure to get really good sleep. And that's admirable. Thank you. Uh, I guess. I feel like it would be more tiring to run like every single day, honestly. <laughs> but you oh, know. That I- well, from from what I hear, that's kind of the point. To make yourself tired? Mm-hmm. Because, you know, so fun scientific fact of the day. If you if you run, if you run or do things that are really exhausting before you sleep, it is significantly less likely that you'll dream. Does dreaming bother you? Now that I think about it, not especially. I only have like a handful of them that I remember, but I haven't dreamed in a very long time. Is that intentional? At this point, you pull up to the house. <laughs> I'll just like idle there on the like kind yeah. of a semi across, not literally across the street, but like semi across, trying not to park in front of people's, you know, someone else's house so they don't freak out. <laughs> Actually, real quick though, like, what does it look like? Are there other houses around? Uh, I mean, it's relatively like. Uh, let me see. Hold on, I have a. I didn't want to pull you out of this because one thing is incorrect on it, but I can pull you out anyway. So here's a map. Basically, you see twelve of six here. So it's like at the end of a road turn left and like part of a a little bend cul-de-sac type thing okay uh there are other houses around there like you see 1204 1202 and stuff like that but they're large larger yards as is with small towns they're not like super suburban touching each other houses kind of thing so look at all these uh locations that we should totes hit uh no kidding (laughs) yeah i mean you no, most the, only, <laughs> the only thing that's wrong is Motel 24. It's Motel 6. So. <gasps> How dare. Um, but, well, vibe check time. Yeah. Um, if you ever want to talk about this dream stuff, though, um, let me know. That's a, I kind of can help a little bit with that. You okay? Uh, I, it's just interesting to me. Um, I, there, you can learn a lot about people from their dreams, and there's, you know, they can tell a lot about things. So if you don't have them, that's just also very interesting. Oh, that's fair. Well, that's you know, maybe one day if we take like a really long drive. And I have something that I actually remember. Then sure. Okay. Okay. Cool. Um, I'll be right back. And I'm just gonna uh, uh, like lean over to the back, like between the two front seats, uh, into the back seat. And the the car is kind of a a a mess a little bit. Um, but uh. And they dig around and they grab, um, like, a kind of a, um, a leather, like a small leather folio, uh, looking thing, like small leather bag. Um, and, uh, there's like a, a, a large, um, uh, uh, white quartz crystal, like, like big, like probably like, I don't know how big, like six inches in diameter, kind of big natural 
uh, crystal in the back seat that they kind of grab as well. And they're all right. Uh, t- uh, two seconds. I'll be right back. Um, and I okay. would like to find um, specifically on the property of Spooner House the biggest tree I can find. Okay. Uh, you basically you grab all that. You step out of the car. You're going to look for it. We're gonna flash to Noreen and Maya real quick. Anything y'all are doing for the night? Um, I'm assuming, um, like, cost-wise, like, getting a, another double room is not... Ideally, close to the room that we have is not too expensive sure. or anything like that. No, 332 is open right across the hall. It is not expensive. If you stay for over a week, it's gonna start, like, sure, sure, sure. actually dipping in. But um, I'll pay for it. Like, uh... Unless, like, there's a, a thing about it, I, I just do what I said I was going to do. Um, and otherwise, I'm just, like, I go in and I'm just kind of, like, I sit down with this, like, a, a heavy sigh. Um, but I don't particularly, like, start any convos unless Noreen has something. Uh, I don't think Noreen is starting any convos unless you, like, continue to sigh and then she's be like, what's wrong <laughs> Um, no, no, it's 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 like more he, like it's not a it's not a <sighs> talked about what's going on to me kind uh, of a deal. It's not it's not said, like a forced. Uh, <laughs> <sighs> yeah, um, <laughs> it's not that. Um, <laughs> but, um. <laughs> it's definitely just like a all right. That was a long day, um, and it seems okay. like honestly she feels just a little bit more comfortable to relax around you, uh, being just a, a familiar face and that kind of stuff. Yeah. I think Noreen feels the same way, but she's also, like, sort of, you know, she has her little nightly routine or whatever, like, you know, getting, you know, comfortable, washing her face, (laughs) taking out the variety of medications that she's on, and sitting them down on the nightstand Um, um, with, like, a bottle of water. Were you the neat one (laughs) in college? Were you, like, the neat side of the room? Okay, yeah. yeah. So Maya... Like, very neat... In the sense that, like, I'm trying to gain control of something and I can have control of it. Yes. So, and Maya is, like, the one that, like, has kicked off the shoes halfway, like, into the room. Um, Her sweatshirt is, like, on one of the chairs over there. Like, absolutely, like, all her shit's everywhere already. Um, And she grabs her little, like, uh, carry-on or whatever. Um, She also gets ready kind of just to, to decompress for the night. And then when you start pulling out the medication and, like, lining it up, you watch my kind of eyes kind of look at it and be like, "Hey, Noreen. Yeah. So you talked about why you're here, right? Like about Delta Green. I talked about how I didn't know where they got my name from. Right. But now I'm suddenly the psychiatrist for Delta Green. So remember when I um messaged you like a while back about that um that body I got? You watch her like uncomfortably like glance again at the the drugs. Um the body that had been uh skinned, for lack of a better term. Right. Or yeah. Okay. So what about it? Let's just say that that night I got a little bit um, excited, you know, like I do. And when I messaged you, now mind you, obviously, you know, I'm not supposed to talk about work stuff because it's confidential half the time. But it was enough, I guess, because I, I think all I said was just like, you know, that story you told me in college, I found I found another one. Um that was enough for them. So, mystic- I went, listen, I went down a rabbit hole that night. I did, like, I found some substance that I was, like, trying to sequence and all that kind of stuff. And I could not figure out what it was. And all I know is that I left sort of halfway to take it up again the following morning when I was, you know, it was like 2 a.m., 3 a.m. following day, everything was gone. A little bit later, I started getting pulled into those trainings so 
you found something and because you told me and they were monitoring whatever they found me I think so I mean seems they got eyes and ears everywhere I try to convince them I don't believe in any of this stuff you know that listen I don't either though like right so like I know I found that that shit or whatever that I was trying to like figure it out but I'm t I don't know what this Delta Green is but I, I honestly think that they're just trying to keep up their secrets you know that government secrets that are they're just trying to keep it out of the populace or something I don't know what they are either I've even tried to ask my mother and she can tell me what it was what's your mom again you remember she was Secretary of State? Oh, right. No, sorry. Yeah, I, yeah. Um, she doesn't know. She didn't ever heard about them, or she just didn't know what they were. She had never heard of them. I'm telling you, I think it's just some big cover up that they don't want people to know. I bet you that substance I found is something new that they've been circulating around. Probably drove that person. I don't know. Well, whatever it is or was, I don't know either. But I'm just here to prove that this is just humans being humans. People murder each other all the time, and that is the scariest thing on this earth. Listen, I'm here. I'm with you. But I'll be honest, I feel kind of responsible, right? Because if I hadn't texted you, maybe they wouldn't have found you. Um... But all I'll say is I'll try to keep you safe. Like I did in college. I got you. I appreciate that and I will admit I am a bit annoyed. No, that's valid. But it is what it is at this point. It is what it is. Although that Yen person <laughs> seems to have it out for me. I guess it's just my charm and personality. Well, they don't seem too fond of me either, but you'll have me twist up like a pretzel before I start giving a damn. <laughs> Their loss. Um, what shows you watch it? I'll just kind of like fade out to like pull whatever yeah. on the, the TV. Yeah. 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 As, as y'all <laughs> are like, scandal as, as we, let's go. we <laughs> hear it like come and do mumbling from outside the door. We are flashback to amber and yin yin you have all of your stuff in your hand you said you're looking for a, the largest tree you can find yeah the largest um aka the oldest looking tree that is on the spooner avenue residence okay uh there is actually none in the front yard looks like brandy okay. landscaping recently but to the side in the backyard you can find some trees uh there aren't it's not like they're like 20 or 30 year old trees it looks like mm -hmm a lot of the trees get either redone or like something happened you see some burnt ground here blah 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 uh tell me if you want very specific if you're like casing with a flashlight and you want very specific information but you you can find i'm looking for a, the specifically like what i'm looking tree. Yeah, I'm specifically looking for just a tree that doesn't look like it's been newly planted like it's this is where it's lived its entire life you know, it hasn't been like transplanted from somewhere or anything like that. There are none. Not are not none. near the house. You'd have to go to the uh the woods edge, the forest edge. I mm, is that is it still close to the house or like what's the distance there? It's probably Ish, roughly. It's probably like three hundred fifty to five hundred feet. Okay. Well, I will pick okay. Then the seeing that it is a little frustrating, but um they will uh then go to where the the one that you had said that was like five ish looking, you know. Yeah. Um yep. not old. And we'll say I guess you'll have to do. Um and is going to um kind of sit down uh in front of it um put this uh this large uh quartz crystal kind of close by them 
um, and is going to uh, un uh, oh open up this like leather uh, this leather bag situation, um, and it kind of opens up into like a like it un unrolls unravels into like a, a mat kind of thing, um, and there's uh, the various things inside of it. There's some more crystals. Um, you can see that there's like a, a pendulum situation. There is um, a handful of like little uh, bottles of like herbs and all these sorts of things. Um, and uh, they um, pull out of this uh, kind of folio, folio thing um, a small stack of cards, uh, like. It looks like the they're, they're tarot sized cards, so they're presumably a tarot deck, um, but it's only got like I don't know, like a third of the cards, so um, it's a very very parsed down deck. Um, okay. And essentially, the long and short of it is, what they're going to try to do is they're going to try to um, specifically mechanically speaking, uh, try to use a cult as best as they can to uh, see if specifically in this area if the if the nature has anything to say with them because they're specifically a nature which they listen to nature they know and believe that it speaks back to them um in whatever kinds of ways that happens to happen um and they try to interpret that based on tarot readings and stuff like that as well so that's what they're trying to do whether it works or not in this particular instance who is to say but that's what they believe is going to happen and is going to work Okay. So. Uh, give me an occultism roll. Come on, dice. The you're first spooky roll. Let's you're go. Wonderful. You're from Die Hard Dice, and you're amazing. Dang it! Ninety-one <laughs> out of fifty. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. I mean, it makes yeah, sense. You're... It's a brand, brand new, brand new person <laughs> on their <Yep>. yard. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You're kind of sitting there. You set up everything. You get ready to pull a card. You flip it over, and it's the High Priestess. And you're, like, thinking of it, and basically that card in this situation recommends that you reconnect with your intuition and your insights and your truths and be patient. So it tells you absolutely nothing about the house and basically says, chill out. <laughs> kind of rolls her eyes a little bit. Okay, fine. Um, and uh, they'll just spend a couple of minutes there. Um, we'll wrap everything up. Um, and uh, take everything back with them. Um, and make their way back over to, to Amber in the car. Okay. Um, kind of like just taking a, a cursory glance like at this house into any windows as I pass them since I'm like to the side or to the back of the house or anything like that. Okay. Give me an alertness roll. Or what anything. sorry, what is your alertness? It's twenty. <laughs> okay, give me an alertness roll. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Listen, I have a very specific set of skills. Uh <laughs> E3. Okay. I like our, our makeup of of skills. Yeah, I do too. 83. Yeah. Okay. You are walking by. You glance in. Too dark. Glance in. Too dusty. Glance in. Too dark. You're kind of like, do you cut the front corner of the house or do you just go straight to the car? Uh, I'll kind of like cut around the, the, the front corner of the house a little bit just because like, you know, I'm here. I might as well just. Yeah. A little. Amber is just watching from the car. You're muted. You're muted. You're muted. Amber is sitting in the car and just kind of, like, kind of passively keeping an eye on things, but also is kind of thinking, this is not a good time to ask questions because asking questions is dangerous. <laughs> but I could continue looking for things on the phone. So I'm sitting here and I'm looking for things on the phone. The thing that I'm searching now is going to a house to get a vibe and seeing what comes back on Google. 
Amazing. <laughs> oh my god, you you're get... gonna get like home and gardens. Like, here's how to decorate your home. Feng shui. You get, uh, no, almost, Amber gets you get almost thread. Oh, go ahead, go ahead. I was gonna say, Amber gets that Twitter thread from a few years back where it was like the the white woman and her black husband uh, at that house, and she was in love, and the black husband was like, absolutely fucking not. This place is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> that's, what I, that's what I was about to say. Not that not that exact thread, but I mean, you get every, every single thing about buying a house and what you should look for and what kind of this like this one's like that instinct yeah, yeah. The this is good this, this is good feng shui and then this <laughs> one's like no you should walk in and you need a staircase here and this one's like if it has a garden in the back it's got good vibes <laughs> <laughs> i know what i'm going to i know what i'm going to do with that information the okay. moment that yen gets back amazing <laughs> so as yen is walking around the front peeks in one of the front windows can't see anything way too dark begins to walk like basically cutting towards the car now away from the porch you think you hear something tune in a little bit no, no. and kind of muffled from out of the front door you hear Nope, I got chills. Mm. <laughs> do you have do you have any kind of knowledge of older older music um, and or art music? I do not have music. No. Okay. Do you do you uh, think I did, you have however, any kind of knowledge of older? I music? do think so because um, at the very basic knowledge because they did get their bachelors in humanities the general broad structure of humanities which is okay. just general art knowledge give me a luck roll then mm -hmm. 31 under 50 you peak this as the intro to Beethoven's Moonlight Sonata. And the second that thought crosses your mind, it stops. My God. I need you to roll Listen. me a psyche roll. Oh my ah! God. Okay, great, 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 great. All no. right. Don't worry. I have enough of that. <laughs> oh, I have literal goosebumps. I don't do well with this. <laughs> Y'all... I would like you to know that my psyche is an 85. Um, oh, no. Th the, I rolled an 86. <laughs> yes! Yes! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Not bad. But it starts playing on your, on your brain, on your mind here. And you start going through all the possibilities. Well, maybe there's a piano in the house, but then somebody would have to be in there playing. But it's mm -hmm. pitch black in there. I can't even see through the windows. So someone just sitting in there playing the piano. I hear it through the door. This just kind of tears at your mind. You lose one psyche point. Great. Uh, and with that loss, the music stops immediately. You kind of just a shiver down your spine, a little cringe. We'll see how it affects you next time. Oh my god, I wasn't ready for that turn. That's uh, it. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna We're survive. All, we like, Yen's not yeah. finding anything. <laughs> do, 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 do. Oh my god. Listen, uh, Yen is one of two people in this four person group who believes this shit is real. So, like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, Maya oh my god. was just saying that to. to, to... <laughs> 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 I'm just gonna cry, okay? <laughs>